Because we don't want to take your time. They are deeper realms. I said they are deeper realms. Thank you so much, guys. You look beautiful as usual. You look great. Just raise your right hand and say the word of God is alive. It is active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. Capable to separate the soul from the spirit. Even to the bone marrow. I will use this word that I will receive today. The engrafted word of God. The sufficient word of God. For my situation. And my situation will definitely bow. In Jesus name. Thank you. It is my intention today to get you acquainted with a certain level of power. One thing that we one thing we lack in the Christian world today are pastors who are able to release what they know, what they use to gain advantage. So what happens in the world of Christianity is the pastor has power, the prophet has power, the evangelist has power, the teacher has power, the prophet has power, the apostle has power, except the congregation. The reality is very simple. It can be from ages way, 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 way beyond us. In fact, before us, where we find that the act of the covenant at one time had everything, the stuff, the man, and the book of the law. But at one occasion, in one occasion, you find that the Bible says when they started looking on what was inside, they only found the book of the law. And the stuff is indicative of authority. The manna was prosperity. Yet the holy of holies, only priests could get in. So if we don't find authority and we don't find the manna, who took it? It should be the pastors. So it is the pastors who are responsible of removing prosperity from the church. Jesus fed the 5,000, but nowadays it's the 5,000 that feed the founder of the church. You didn't get what I said, but you didn't understand that. So we have a demonic entity that has gone in the church. Now the church feeds the pastor. Jesus did miracles to feed the 5,000. Now the more members you have, the richer you become. I decree and declare, somebody here will change the situation. We are going to move mountains that our members will become luminaries in prosperity, luminaries in money, luminaries in real estate, luminaries. I give you that power right now all over the world. If you receive it, let me hear why you loudest. Amen. If your neighbor's amen was higher than yours, then you have a problem with this thing. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and say, deeper rounds. Deeper realms. Deeper realms. Pastor of Hukotai. Miva Hendeka. So in every stud, you find that the scriptures are divided in three parts. It is things places and revelation or reality. In other words, when you receive the Bible, the message of the Bible, it can appear to you as things, the things which I speak unto you. Then it becomes a place. <laughs> Grace can become a concept or a thing you learned. But you go deeper with God, you realize grace becomes a person. 
So, so many of you have treated scriptures as things you had. Until that thing becomes a person, it will not become your reality. We are not preaching prosperity. We are preaching Jesus. You didn't get that. We are not preaching healing. Jesus is the healing. So until healing becomes a person, you remain sick. Until prosperity becomes a person of Christ, you will remain broke. So the reason why you have all the books on prosperity and it's still broke is because there are still things you learned. They might of course be in your spirit, but there are still things. That's not the message. So I want you to understand what I'm telling you today. They are not things. It's a person I'm preaching today. Sit down. <laughs> I want to talk about something, but I'll take my time to try and see who is with me here. Around the world, you might even catch it better than those who are in proximity, you know, close proximity. Now, I want you to understand that there are activities in the realm of the spirit. It's only you who doesn't know there is an activity. <laughs> This is the reason why people like us can walk into a nice, dignified, well-to-do church, rich, prosperous with a pastor in a tuxedo. And they have never seen a manifestation. Everyone is rich in the church. The moment I enter, I might just sit there. Screams will start from the corner. The pastor will be shocked. What happened? My church, which was well-to-do. Ah... They are now off the hinges. What has happened? Activity is there. But activity did not manifest because there was nobody to provoke its manifestation. Now you are not getting what I'm trying to say. You, you're not getting what I'm trying to say. I'm sitting here in a, in a certain location and I had one prophet from here in what is called Salt Bear. Just a restaurant. I walked in and I was late a little bit. I got in. Oh, they were all sitting at the table enjoying pastors. The moment I touched one on the shoulder, manifestation. Listen, the person sitting next to them didn't even know there was a demon next to them. So activity can be on the side of your bed and you will not notice it. Nah, yeah, I, I know you didn't get it. Your amen and the thing is under your bed now and this amen you are doing now. Let your amen be loud and clear. Listen, there are activities. It's only you who is blind to activities. Let me read something so that you know. Deuteronomy 33, verse number 1, 2. I know you will not even see it even after you see it. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. Mm hmm Let's go, let's go, let's go. And you say the Lord came from Mount Sinai. Whoosh. I know you are not getting this. I... The Lord came from where? From Mount Sinai. And rose up from Siam. And to them, his sheep forth from Mount Paran. If you look at Habakkuk, he will tell you what Paran is. And he came with 10,000 of saints from his right hand. When the fairy law for them. They, they needed laws. This 10,000 he came with. No, no, no. You see, you see, this can't be angels because they needed laws. Ah, you see, you wake up in a few minutes, but I will try and make it very, very quick. From his right hand went a fiery law for them. Yea, he loved the people. All his sayings are in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet. Everyone shall receive of thy words. They even learned the words. They study the Bible. These ones. Mm -mm. Moses commanded us a law. Even the inheritance of congregation of Jacob. And he was king of Jeshurun. Moses was a king. I know this whole half I lost you. Those who are around the world, you can get me now. The Bible says, and Moses 
who never had a kingdom that you could see. He was a king and has already told you the congregation and the population of his kingdom. So Moses would walk as a prophet, but he was a king somewhere. I, I know you didn't get it. <laughs> you know, they can see you cleaning that toilet and they think you're just a toilet cleaner, but you got a kingdom inside a kingdom. I wish I had people to understand deeper realms. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You see, 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 when we preach like this, it is just one of those messages. No, sir, no, ma'am. There is a kingdom. You see, whenever you move to another city, find out the physicality of that city. Yes, where the doctor is, where the GP is. That's all right, personal doctor, personal teacher, personal tutor. That's all right. But you'll be so blind if you do not realize that there is also a spiritual world inside the physical city. If you have not seen the entrance to a city while it's you are in Harare, while it's you are in London, it should show you where the entrance is to another city inside this city. So too many of us are too blind to where the thing is. So we walk in blindness. Oh, that's why the Bible says in the book of Psalm, they walk on in darkness. And the whole world is out of sync. All you know is the location you stay in. Brother, demons know exactly where you are. They are not confused on the number of areas that they can manipulate in your system. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me tell you something. There are things called principalities. Principalities and dominions. Dominions who dominate a city. But principalities, if given an access, they mess up your whole system. Did you, have you noticed that the things we thought were clothes for prostitutes are now in the streets? That means principalities understood something. They introduced those heroes. They introduce the type of heroes. It can be clear heroes that you see in movies worn by prostitutes. And the more you accept it, 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 the devil finds his way into First Street. Now it's in the supermarket you like, in the clothing boutique you like. Now you are wearing what was intended by the devil. I'm just giving you an, an example. I'm not saying clear heroes have a problem. I'm just giving you something so you understand. So there are principalities who understand you don't live in one location. It's only you who thinks you live in one location. And you never take advantage of something that is beyond. And the Bible says he was king of Jeshurun. Right now. If I just stand there and say one key word right now, your neighbor will manifest. The one you were with coming from home, your own wife. Have you noticed when I'm starting casting out demons here, husbands will hold their wife like this. And the manifestation is taking, like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Who were you thinking was shouting at you at home? It wasn't your wife, there was something inside. I finished this thing. <laughs> so in your head, it was just your sweet wife. Something just went wrong. Sorry, sorry, darling. No, sir, no, ma'am. It's an energy, brother. I said it's an energy, sister. That husband of yours, that temper is an energy. What causes you to say sorry after you mess up? I just, you know, just anger took over. You know, I'm very sorry. I became emotional. It's not an emotion. It's a demonic entity. It kept on giving energy. 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 You thought you were in this world. You are in two places all at once. And the demons know it, but you don't. I feel like I was talking to somebody now. So there is a world you now don't be, to be aware of. My sister... In Germany, passed by a location where there was, there was this magician 
Do you understand magician? Magician. And he was told you can suspend in the air. No, he was not on the stage with lights, camera, action. No. <laughs> Levitated. Nothing tying her. Nothing. Zero. And he put that ring like this. To show there was nothing. People are clapping like this. It's only after when we asked, what were you feeling? He said, feeling what? I was chained. What you saw was a person levitating. And you thought it was camera tricks. And these white people are very clever now. The Western world has become clever. They tell you they are called magic tricks. It's only the real magicians that know this is not a trick. So they have already done marvelously by telling you that there is a trick we are doing. So witchcraft has become entertainment. Listen, brother, sister, there is a deeper realm. Somewhere where you can get power to be invincible. I, I know they're not getting me. I know you're not getting me at all. I know you're not getting me. The problem is the devil copied us. And we have retreated from there and said, that was the devil doing it. So it wasn't the devil. This was God himself saying to you. <laughs> Imagine Philip living the Ethiopian eunuch. Few seconds, just a few flash, seconds, just a, a second, flash of a second. The many is in us. The many is in us. Yeah. <laughs> no magic trick. He knew there was a pathway. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't need Elon Musk's boring company. No, sir. The man knew I can use sound waves and light to travel to that location. Because in the realm of the spirit, light makes you old. It is not the number of years. It is light. When light enters you, you become old. That when luminaries like Moses see you in heaven, they say, sir, sir. <laughs> Somebody here, under the influence of my voice, will be a luminary in the spirit. You don't need to wait until you die. You don't need to be male, no say. You don't need to be male, no ma'am. You can actually be you. Your problem is you need a stage. You need a camera shooting you. So that you feel you are big. Trust me brother, they can lie to you. They can lie about you at work. You don't even need to be there. You can decide I have a camera and a listening device at the company. Sit down. I can come from my room to go downstairs and finish my people's conversations. I'll be in my room 100 meters away. Hear people discuss Ah, uh, this badge, this badge, I collect badges. I say, here is your badge. Here is your badge. Now, the conversation is over. <laughs> In any location, someone will come in from there and say, yeah, hey, what you said was not true. Say, so, ah, who told you? I said, you were two in that room. The person is still in there. How am I able to talk about your dreams? What you dreamed of? Some of you think it's prediction. No, sir. No, ma'am. We're not doing so. We were there when you were dreaming. We can sit next to you like this. As you dream. We, we will be sitting next to you like this. <laughs> the prophet said, did not my spirit go with you? The servant of the prophet wanted to lie. He went, followed after the money of Naaman. And as he was asking for money, he was asking for money. The prophet said, was not my spirit with you. He was able to send your spirit, soul, and body. And then take the spirit, send it. <laughs> ah! Roar! Ah! 
Now, now I know what you're thinking right now. Prophet, tell me how to do it. Send it. See, see, see? They want some technology on how to do it. No, I send my spirit there. To work on Monday, I will get there with the information that they have. You walk in like this, and your friends say, Oh, wow. Oh, I missed you. Say, ah, 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 ah. I call numbers. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Church to begin to watch church to begin to watch. This is the deeper life we are talking about. This is the deeper life we are talking about. This is the good news revelation we preach. Sit down. I went to a man just a few days ago. I said, This is money. This is the amount. This is the amount. This is the amount. He said, You know what? Before you came here, we were speaking with him that we are in trouble. And then this one said, Every time we are in trouble, Prophet will give us the exact amount. He called him and said, Ah, you know what we're talking about? Say, Yeah. How does it work? You see, I no longer need to prophesy now. I no longer need to sit down and say, now I prophesy. No! Look in prophecy. I am prophecy. <laughs> prophesy. Walk in it. Walk in it. You are children of the prophet. You are children of the prophet. Walk in it around the world. Walk in it. Yes! How does it work that our, all our eyes were looking at one woman? It wasn't a cousin. No, it's my sister. Levitating. With feet up, head up, nothing underneath. And she said, but underneath is a table with pins. So there was a table there. And chains. And we never saw them. What about the things she didn't see? What of the demons who are holding the chains like this? <laughs> Only one man could control it and close your eyes to it. Why do you think they have rules? Why do you think you're in mountains that you can't climb? They know there is activity. You just don't know it. Because you went to Harare and went to London and went to America. You are now big now. I read I've got a degree. Hey. Hey. In the realm of the spirit is not your curriculum vitae in school. It is your curriculum vitae in light. What amount of light do you have? What amount of light do you have? There are deeper realms that are only controlled by people with a certain level of light. The entrance of thy word given. The world we are in has been given to the dogs. And it requires people with light to walk a straight line. It's only you who think there's nothing like that. You think your prayer will do it. Let me tell you something. In this world we are in, with the darkness that there is, with even celebrities acknowledging that there is a spiritual realm, Who knew at one day you will hear the likes of Brad Pitt saying, I believe in speaking in tongues? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew, say, Anton Hopkins would say the only way to survive is to believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew Beyonce called somebody you all know before any show? Who knew? What do they know that you don't? They pray, sing, dance, and then they get in there. And then they sing. Sing 
contrary to how they prayed. But they know I still need protection there. Do you pray? Do the wrong thing. Come back and not pray. Then they pray every time before they do the sin. You, you sin, you pray, you don't pray, you sin, you don't pray, you don't... Sin. All you have is a label. You are found when you are really Coca-Cola. I speak to somebody over there and over there. On social media, YouTube, Facebook, Good News, TV, Miracle TV, Atom Grab, everywhere. You are under the influence of my voice right now. There is a power that you have. That I unlock by the power of the Holy Ghost. That light will control. Light. Huh. <laughs> Why is the devil so powerful? Because he has light. Listen. The name devil is not his name. It is a job description. Like accountant. It means one who pierces, pounces, and pounces until he breaks through. If you can learn anything from the devil, he's very patient and very consistent and persistent. He's persistent. His actual name is Lucifer. Do you know what Lucifer means? Light. No, you will not get it. I will, you will not get it. La huski bano mon Ha 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 Are you hearing me? Ah, you zoom kreteli gatomranes. Veruski vela and a gali krutiza languste. I wish you were here to, to listen to what I'm saying. And then. Push your mind higher and say to yourself, am I going to really remain the same? How on earth do you see people that can tell you, if you go to the rural areas, they will tell you, we don't plow, we don't go into the field on Wednesday. What happened to Wednesday? What did they learn on Wednesday? Nah, you are not getting me at all. Ah, are you hearing me? I want to show you something. Ah, zizuza ne vivim, giruna ruta lo sayam. I wish I had somebody here who can say, "Prophet, I need something. I need that fire to come out of me." I said, "I need that fire to come out of me. I need that." Fire will come out of you. Zuza varo mengra katuza. I want to show you something. So, there is a power that you can actually gain over everyone. But it is not a power you get from this world. And you know when we preach like this, the problem is so many people have preached and you also have preached. Preaching things you have not experienced. I know a lot of pastors in town here, London, America, who preach about prosperity and they are broke. The only prosperity they've ever experienced is when they take an offering. And let me just explain to you, when people have an opportunity to take an offering, the Bible talks of Moses, how he came out of Egypt with Aaron. When they got to the other side, Aaron, that was the first time Aaron could have stood up there and said, as I was put here by the Lord as a prophet. Are you getting me? Yeah. Now, it means I will be able to minister something and thank the Lord using an offering to thank my brother Moses. He didn't do it. You would think he had no ability. It's only when Moses 
went on top of a mountain, on top of a mountain to meet God. That Aaron was left alone. Now he has no way to take care of himself. But when the people cried for a new God, Moses preached a message that people removed earrings of gold and threw in the fire. That's when a man has the ability to take an offering. All the time, he never thanked God. Only this time. And notice what the Bible says, when they threw in their gold, he then came and explained to Moses and said, brother, he says, why did you do this, such a thing? He said, they gave gold. And this calf came. Notice. That means <sighs> there was no artisan. Read it in your scriptures. It didn't say we made a calf. No. It emerged out of the fire. <laughs> and why was Baal acting like that, like a calf? Because he knew that on the four creatures of heaven, there were these things. One with the face of an ox. Ah. So he was trying to copy what was on the throne. Brothers, their activities. We go there. Listen, are you hearing? We go into the good news city. We took a, a tree that God appeared to me. The wild Casa Depot that you have on your on that emblem, that bench you have there. And we took it to the Good News City. There is no network in the Good News City, any location. Zero location. When he couldn't find network, they said, What do we do? We need to talk to Prophet and we don't have network. We have to drive out and go to the to the main road. And they said, but there is a tree in this place. Yeah. They just went in that same location. The tree is there. Dial is in. What kind of leaves have the ability to contact? What kind of wood is this? There is activity everywhere. But you can cause that activity. I'm talking to somebody under the influence of my voice. I don't know who should I just shake and there is activity. <laughs> Listen, wherever you move, there is activity. As long as you know there is activity, is walk like this, there is activity here. Activity. Sit down. When a matter happens, brother, when a matter happens, I've told you, you can bump into an angel. Same location. Bump into an angel. Prophetess. Got me into this room. I got into a room and I said, don't wake me up. Don't do nothing. Don't call me until I call you. Then I said, okay. When she was coming, I said, after these hours, you can come. And I left the door open. She tried to push her way in. Did not happen. The door is open. She can see me there. But it seemed as if there was a rubber that she would go like this and it would push her. It's like she's being catapulted from the door. What, who, who, who constructed this thing? This is the reason why I can come to you and prophesy. Your, ne your, your friend will be sitting next to you. And then I'll tell you that as you were standing there, God said. You'll be wondering. God spoke. Yes, he did. How come you are not hearing it? How come when I'm telling you that, oh, yeah, now I've been put in this country, did I not come here and say the queen is dying now? Just, just uh, now. Now, you're, is it the, the stupid mindset of, uh, of a normal broke person? <laughs> I have prophesied when the Rothschild family was listening, the richest family on earth. Forget Bill Gates. Forget Elon Musk. The Rothschild are beyond. They are worth trillions. And when I gave the prophecy, they didn't get shocked or jump up and down. Never. Just sit down. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he was holding the papers here. 
are the papers you're talking about. Uh, so, how do we make money with this gift? <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, doubt is a luxury for broke people. If you the comments on people are coming on prophecies or commenting against me, just just click one, go to their page, forgive them. Poverty is as a result of doubt. So you can never find faith there. The reason why they are broke is because faith is not there. Now you're trying to convince the person who failed to have money because of lack of faith to believe. I prophesy about the queen. Say, oh, she was 96. Not every 96 year old is dying. And not every 96 is dying the year I said they should die. By prophecy. Now, when you say this football team is going to win, you say, oh, it was obvious. When you now give them scores, they say, you know, it's not necessary. <laughs> I know when the first bot started, engine bot started moving, there were skeptics that the main reporter there handed the mic over to the engineer and said, do you think it will float? <laughs> and then it floated. Do you think the engine will start? <laughs> ah? Okay. Do you think it will move? Then it started moving. As it was going, it turned to the other guy and said, I will be able to stop it. <laughs> Something under the influence of my voice will remove every doubter from your mind. When a ship sinks, it's not because of the water outside. It's the water inside. Never be affected by a doubter. Sit down. I wish I had people here. I know. Do you know the things I teach you here? Let me give you a secret. Maybe, maybe let me give you guys a secret. Look at them. Look at you. Ah. Sit down. <laughs> Listen to me. All the messages are on YouTube. They are not messages I teach you. They are lessons that I learned from God. Watch this. That's what made me who I am. Ah, no, you didn't get it. Imagine somebody telling you, just go watch videos there. Follow what I followed. It doesn't take you 20 days to exactly be me. I'm a result of light in me. What did I say? Maturity in the realm of the spirit is measured in light, not in age. So, huh, how can you listen to a, to a child just barely 40? You're listening to that child. I'm not going to do that. I'm old enough. The Jesus you worship is 33. There is no time in heaven. He died at 33 and that's it. You can sit in front of a television set like this. With a 20-year-old playing football, old men 70, you'll be going. <laughs> Your whole body being moved by a 20-year-old. If he misses a score, you will throw away the plate. Ah! <laughs> 
than a man of God with revelation. Whether it's 30, whether it's 40, whether it's 42, it doesn't matter. As long as what comes out of his mouth is spiritual, I receive it because the words are ancient words, long preserved for our... I'll show you something. I want to show you something. I wish I can show you something. Man, Karuki Ning Greta Gaisko. Vevratele Grosera Namangre. Ivaro Delisco Banca Radegino Manares. Ha! Imagine. How on earth do you control the light you have? The light you have only comes from the word. The entrance of thy word giveth light. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Everything you failed to achieve in life was a result of lack of light. No, some, some people don't get it. See, when I talk about light here, I tell you what it actually is. The Bible says, the entrance of thy word giveth light. The entrance of thy word giveth light. The entrance of thy word giveth Giveth what? So now I know how to manufacture light in me. I don't know if you are getting this. But as you understand, light is also indicative of the fire in you. I shall baptize you with what? Mm -hmm. He that is coming will baptize you with the spirit and with fire. Light. I want to show you something, but I, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to get it to you. In the realm of the spirit, there are deeper realms the spiritual realm, my brothers and sisters, is a real estate. In the heavenlies. This earth is a real estate. This earth. Before the earth was, where was it? In the mind of God. But when he created it, where did he put it? Somewhere where? I'm trying to figure this out. When he created the heaven and the earth, the heavens first, right there in the syllabus of his creation, he put angels in the first part of heaven. He put angels there. Then he started creating the earth. But what was there before the earth was put in there? It was the spiritual realm. Now they, see, see, they missed it. This whole thing, spiritual realm, you create the earth. Then you put it there. So where is the earth? You get it. But one thing you have not noticed is, is the word heaven. He created the heavens and then the earth. What is taking place when, I, when I'm talking like this? What it means is there was the spirits were already on earth. In the sense that it, they were already around this space, in this space before he created. Mm. That's why I said the, re the Lord reached out into nowhere. Grabbed something that was not there. Because he had not created the thing he needed to grab. And then touched it. Yet it was not yet it because it had not been created into an it. And curved it into an earth, yet there was no point of reference. Because there was nothing yet ever created like the earth. Formed it into a spherical thing. I know this because of Isaiah. And even because of Jacob. Uh, because, of, because of Job. He, he, he formed it into a spherical thing. And put it somewhere. Yet there was no somewhere. Because he had not created the somewhere to hang it on. And then told it to stay there, yet there was not there. And the Bible says the earth is sustained by his word. So the word has got strings and pillars. 
that he asked Job, were you there when I laid the pillars and the foundation of the earth? Imagine that the spiritual realm has pillars that are supporting the earth. To the extent that science can confirm that if we move an inch closer to the sun, we will bend to death. If we move an inch away, we will freeze to death. Ah. There is something, brothers and sisters. I said there are activities everywhere you go. There are activities. The reason why it doesn't feel like there are activities is because you have no power. Listen to me. The devil is not afraid of your anointing. The Bible is calls him the anointed cherub. He himself is anointed. Let me tell you a secret that you don't know. And I'll try and, and don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't listen to it, but I'll say it. What you do not realize is the devil was called exactly in the same manner, but not the same person as Jesus. He was the one who was supposed to redeem the pre-Adamic world. And then he failed. After failing, God tried another one called Moses. And Moses did not complete the duty. And even him, Moses himself says, I will send you another prophet like Moses. Then to send himself. Two entities failed. The devil failed. That's why his name is called Lucifer. The light. And Moses was a man also. Light. King of Jeshurun. Who knew? All of you heard it today. That Moses was a king of a place called Jeshurun. Where was Jeshurun? <laughs> Listen to me. There are entities on this earth. That's why Idawasa would stand and say, if you touch me, you are finished. <laughs> do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. You touch me, you are finished. You touch me, you are finished. Do it around the world. You touch me, you are finished. Ah, he had something. He had something. Bishop Eda also had something that 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 Jesus raised a woman from the dead. He was coming from a Muslim background. He rode his bicycle and started riding around town, asking, "Is there any funeral?" You know, sometimes it's good not to understand things. The reason why you're not getting the money, you you you. you you know too much. You know too much. That money, money has to be banked and then credit, debit. Ah, you know too much. You know too much. The people in town there, they don't know nothing. They don't care as long as money is coming. As long as money is coming. You know too much. You know how to calculate. He got in there. They said there's a funeral. They put his bike down. He said, yes, um, can, I, can I pray for your daughter? The mother looked and said, are you trying to? He said, no, no, no. I'm a Christian. We raise the dead. The man is stupid. He's not understanding nothing. This is the first time. He had not sat with many elders and deaconesses. Uh, sorry, deacons. Sorry, uh, demons. Sorry. Uh, he, had not, he had not sat with too many of them to make him doubt. So he's sitting there and wondering, what do you mean? They said, give him a chance. He went in there. People are crying. He said, little girl, rise. Huh? Nothing happened. He said, Talita Kumai. He's following what is in the Bible now. Nothing happened. And the people are now getting angry. And the people are crying. Say, well, who, 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 are you coming to mock us? He opened the Bible again. And he had in that. And then the Lord Jesus Christ removed the mourners from the room. He said, um, those who are crying, Go. <laughs> the light in him was now talking make the same quantity of light get in they went out he said Talita Kumai <coughs> I
He created the same environment the Lord created. If the Lord said people who cry should go out, I'm not special. I'll make them go out too. There are luminaries in the realm of the spirit. I said luminaries in the realm of the spirit. Apostle Babylon, Nigeria, way back, he has gone home to be with the Lord. Right now, one of our guys went to visit the place of Babalola, the house. He's sitting there like this, trying to interview them. He hears a bell ring. In the house. It's not a school. The person he's speaking to stands up, leaves him. No, buy nothing. He's just hearing in the room. One hour. He comes and sits down. He says, okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry, just need to go somewhere. Oh, no, no problem, sir. One hour. Go, go. Ah! The guy stands up, he's gone. He got the power to ask why. He said, from the days of Babalola, this house, we have intervals, one hour intervals and two hour intervals for prayer. Yes, from the day he received Christ, one hour interval, done by, whether you are a visitor, you march in. <laughs> Some of you, because you want your uncle to like you, you even keep beer inside the refrigerator. It's not mine, it's just for my uncle when he visits. You are mad. If you don't take it, don't give him. Sit down. The Lord told me, be like, be like Smith Wigglesworth. <laughs> one time I was, I, was, I was in my room like this and I saw the Lord appear to me he says I want to tell you something and all of a sudden I heard noise coming from somewhere and I was trying to strain my ear to get to hear him and the Lord said I will consume you until there is nothing of you left until you hear me even as the way goes with head you head me I said way goes with head you You think when we say we are registering we go to the university, we are just doing it from nowhere. Osborne Institute, you think it was Osborne Institute? That's the middle name of Pastor Chris. Chris Osborne Oyailome. We are not just... It's light communicating to us to change things. What is your, what is your daughter's name? Shakuita. What does that mean? I, I, it's just a nice name. Spiritually, you have loaded your daughter with demonic entities. Now, all of a sudden, when she's supposed to finish degree, she's finishing a degree of pregnancy. You loaded her with assignment by that name. This world here, there is a parallel world. The devil would walk on the coals of fire. He was filled with light. He was called Lucifer. Light. This is why now when people were faking this uh, vaccination thing and they say, I'm vaccinated, I'm vaccinated. Do you know what they did? They said, we are bringing something which will show light if you are vaccinated. Do you know what the name is? Luciferin. Now you see, the world is not Now, the Olympics were in town, in London, in, in, in Birmingham. They brought a bull. And they were, they were kneeling down, white people, kneeling down before the bull. Kneeling down. That was the entrance. That was the, the opening ceremony of kneeling down before the bull. Yet the Bible tells us that's Baal. The worst enemy of God. Not that God he says is my enemy. No, it is Baal who is the enemy of God. God has no enemies. If God has enemies, then God is lower. That's why I said, sit down until I make your enemies. That means your enemies are not his. They are just yours. Because if they become his enemies, it becomes little.
And it was written on the, it was written in your face. There, we put it there. Something to do with in your face or something that was written there. In our faces. That's what is written. Why would they write there in our faces? For what? I don't know if you are getting this. In other words, we are worshipping God. Our God. The devil in your faces. So Baal was the God that received the sacrifices of children. So they would put children in there and burn the bull. Heat it up. Children screaming. And they bring it in Birmingham. White people are clapping. So when white people are doing it, it seems very sanitized and okay. There it is. With fire in it. And if I would take time to count those numbers, those people that are moving around and show you from the Bible, you will be so shocked, but I don't have time for that. And white people are doing it. With fire inside it. Exactly as the Bible said. The emergence of ancient gods. Now Satanism is done by people on private jets. The one you do in your rural area does not match this one. This one is aided by money too. <laughs> I speak to somebody under the influence of my voice. This world has gone to the dogs. It's now a time where we understand they are manipulating spiritual systems in the old days. We now to push in higher. Sit down. Did you see the fire inside? Ezekiel 28, verse number 17. Ezekiel 28, 17. Let's remove that picture, please. Ramon Nekish to Hai. Ezekiel 28. Renani no vin kaina monsofin. Are you here or you have gone home? Are you here? Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Eh? Who is bright now? I know what you thought. The prince of darkness. <laughs> if you see the devil, you'll be attracted. know what you think. You think of the devil with horns. This is because of your beauty. If you read in the book of Isaiah 53. I'm waiting. Verse number one. Isaiah 53. Verse number one. Who has believed our report? You know this scripture. To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For Jesus shall grow up the son of God shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And there's a root out of the dry ground. He has no form, no structure. Very ugly Jesus. Oh, the one the Roman Catholics are lying to the world with. Blue eyes, long hair. Nonsense. Paul himself says in our churches, there is no man that is allowed to have long hair. Paul himself. And Paul saw Jesus. He says, I've not taught by anybody but by Jesus in visions. So how doesn't he know that our Lord is long hair? I mean, it's a lie you are being told. Blue-eyed Jesus with long hair. The Bible according to Isaiah, the most prolific and intelligent and most valued prophet in Israel, there, is telling you. As a root out of the dry ground, he is no form nor of beauty, nor of loveliness. And when we shall see him, he's prophesying when we shall see him in the future. You might think this is spiritual. There is no what? No beauty that we should desire of him. Jesus, when he came to earth, he was very ugly. Ugly, you look at him and go like, you can't be the son of God. Never. <laughs> Let's go for the devil. Ezekiel 28, verse number 17. Thine heart was lifted because of your beauty. So if Jesus and the devil will turn up at your house, you will go for the devil. (laughs) 
<laughs> Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. You are too clean. Now you corrupted your wisdom. <sighs> you men who are just looking for a beautiful woman. Where is this book where it's written? This is beauty, this is not beautiful. Where is this? Let me tell you that you don't know. And please listen to me. I'm a man to listen to. I want you to understand that plastic surgeons, renowned plastic surgeons, I know you might not believe what I'm about to tell you. Renowned plastic surgeons have actually commented on this. That the difference between a handsome man and an ugly man, a beautiful man and, and a beautiful woman and an ugly woman is one inch. Yep. That the surgeons realize that if you move one person one inch, that this thing here has to be the same as this, has to be the same. This is one inch. This is when they correct. That's why they are so fast as, okay, we can do this, we can do this. When they just see you, they just, we can do this, we can do this. How do they know? Because all of them are working on one inch. If you want to look like this person, they can just tweak it by one inch. And you're close to that thing. It's only people who then say, I want to be like this, I want to. No, if you leave it to a surgeon, he just knows only what you need is one inch. How many play golf? If you notice on that thing, right? That part there. If you hit it straight, it goes straight. If you go one inch, it's wide out. Same thing with beauty. It's nothing. So when you think, I'm a beautiful, just one inch. <laughs> and people will kill each other over one inch. Five days after you die, worms. <laughs> and they don't come from somewhere. They come from within you. <laughs> now notice, Jesus was ugly. The devil. Beautiful. Let's read it. Let's read it. By reason of thy brightness, I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Hey, hey, we, who's, which kings? The Bible says he has made us kings. Hello, his royal highness. Hello, his royal highness. <laughs> this is why it's important to sign your letters with her royal highness. Don't wait for a kingdom. It's not coming. Nobody will take you and make, make you Elizabeth. Never. <laughs> and this, by now, your husband knows you're not a queen. <laughs> you, have, you, have, <laughs> you have acted somehow. That's like, a, no, no, no queen acts like this. <laughs> Are you here? So you better do it for yourself. Let's read it. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries. By the multitude of thine iniquities, the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore, I will bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. No, you did, they didn't get it. The Bible tells us he has made his angels ministering winds and his ministers fire, flames of fire. It's all talking about angels, but it's all talking about messengers too on earth. So he's telling us that angels are made of wind and fire. Spirit and fire. The word wind in the Greek concordance is actually pneuma, which means wind. So he made angels out of spirit and out of fire. Why? They contain fire. They contain light. So if they contain light, they can move things. One angel killed 185,000 people in one night. They woke up and 185,000 were gone dead. What has happened? Light. Your problem is you don't like to learn the things we tell you. 
You just won't pray for me. Just lay hands here. Am I talking to somebody? Just lay hands. You will see what we can do. You have, nev- you have not seen anything. I'm, I'm very good. You are very good. <laughs> are you hearing me or you've gone home? I see somebody here moving to higher degrees. I see somebody here moving to higher degrees. I want to show you something. John 3.12. John 3.12. John 3.12. Let you carry in great again. John 3.12. If I've told you earthly things, you will believe you believe not. How shall you believe if I'm about to tell you heavenly, heavenly what? Things. Mm-hmm. Let's go. And no man is ascended up to heaven. No, no, no. Go back to 12 because they're not getting it. You will not even get it after I finish reading it. If I have told you earthly things, it starts by this statement. You see, if the Bible starts telling you stuff like this, it knows you're not you're about to miss it. If I have told you earthly things and you don't believe me, when I tell you about the earth, how much when I tell you about heaven? Mm -hmm. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's read like we went to school. And no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the son of man was in heaven. This is Jesus talking. He is calling himself the son of man, which is also in heaven, yet he was on earth. I can tell you, not, you don't even see it. Say, um, who is preaching here? Who is also at home? Jesus is telling you he is also sitting in heaven. Two locations. He is in. Ezekiel 3.12. I know I like this one. Are you here? I'll be telling you some few things so that you get it. Then the spirit of the Lord took me up. Mm -hmm. And what? I heard behind me a voice of great rushing saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. Mm. I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another. Mm. 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 When your eyes, listen, he was there at his house. Hearing, the wife is there, maybe feeding. Here's food, my darling. And the man is hearing chariot wings. Wings. Flipping. What kind of man is that? That will sit with you and hear. Some of you, they've already. Have you not been told by our prayer team? How they were near the baptismal pool in the good news city? And as they were sitting there, praying. The grass became alive. And the being stood up. And all of them ran. Some on top climbed it. I'm like, how are you interceding for anyone? <laughs> Here is the Lord coming to talk to you. <laughs> we are not safe. When the intercession starts running, what about us who are lying on the prayers? I said, why were you running? I said, we, we don't know what, what to do. We didn't know. Were you not praying to God? Yes, we were praying, but I... <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Two of them were sitting inside. We were in the house. One I was sleeping, and one said, let me just go out and pray. Came out of the house, and light is approaching. Stood six meters above. Ran inside. They said, come and see. Now they are looking from the inside like this. <laughs> Prayer team. Prayer squad. 
<laughs> ah! You need to be like Gideon. He was weak. I just, just a, a false guy. He was weak. But when the angel started talking, he said, ah, 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 ah. If you are really with us, why are we failing? Why are we losing as a nation? He's answering back to God in a nice way. Ah! Are you flowing? Let me show you. Mm -hmm. I heard the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another in the noise of the wheels of again as the men. The noise of of a great rushing. So the spirit lifted me up and took me away. I went in bitterness. The guy has emotions while he's going, yet he's with his wife. Your problem is you have not seen the exit of the city of Harare. You have not seen the entrance of the spiritual realms in the city of London, in America, in New York, in Washington, D.C., in Australia, in South Africa, Mozambique, Namibia, Botswana. You have not seen Tanzania, you have not Kenya, you have not seen it. You have not investigated. They are gatekeepers and watchers in the city. One time I went into a place called Ashton Underline. As I walked like this, I saw a man standing in the corner. A man standing in the corner. They were just standing like this. I said, I don't know who these are. And when I looked, someone was being wheeled in a wheelchair. And there was a little demon, like you talk about a puppy size, but a monkey-like thing. A crossbreed between a monkey and a dog, if you were to try to describe it. <laughs> Grabbing the legs like this. And all of a sudden, it dawned on me. These are the people we say crippled. And we think it is just the body. Yet the devil has grabbed them. No, but it was an accident. It doesn't really mean to say if it's an accident, the demon is not involved. And it doesn't mean to say the person has done anything wrong. Grabbed like this. I said, oh my God. If I had the ability to see this every time, I would go there and just tell the demon to leave. The world was crossed. He knows this and most of you know my story. When I was up in my, in my room and I decided, let me go to the to the to the, uh, to the restroom. As I did that, I'm walking towards this place. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You see, I'm upstairs. So there, is a, there are stairs coming up like this and this is the restroom. So there are stairs going down like this. So I looked down. I don't know what made me look. I looked down and I saw an angel Standing there. It wasn't like an angel. You would think an angel. I'm talking about somebody who was holding a big book. Like a big book. Just going like this. Remember, these are the stairs going up. And down the stairs. And he's standing like this. He's holding the book in this way. Like this. Are you getting, are you getting it? He's holding the book like this. I said, who is that? Hmm. I remember asking the Lord, who is this? And when I asked the Lord, the man changed his posture and just twisted it like this. He never looked, twisted it. As I was asking the Lord, I said, who is this one? And I'm shaking. Oh, some of you will not tell the story. <laughs> I'm very good, I tell you. And it was written holy. And he's wearing like combat from Old Testament combat. You're talking about soldiers with, with those leather strips like this. And a sword. No wings. No wings. I this way. That they are angels. Take care of these little children. For they are angels who keep watch over them. Why? All they are doing is they are recording. It says for the elders to receive the good report. What do you think they are doing? You think the report ended in high school? There are people here while you are sitting there. You are on WhatsApp with your fake boyfriend. 
the eyes say somebody's husband. Hallelujah. I love you, baby. And the watcher is... They are watchers on this earth. <laughs> I said they are watchers. For these, the elders received a good report. For they shall give a testimony. Watch this. It says they shall give an account of you. What does it mean? That means you'll be in heaven like this. And you better angel come forward. Give an account of this person. You thought it was over now. You know, I just pray to God and that. Uh -uh. It says, take care of those who are above you in ministry. For they shall give an account of you in heaven before the Father. What? So we are not ending here. Heaven will come. And I'll be called by God to describe you. I'll tell everything. Me, I'll tell everything. Yeah. You just be looking at me like. I'll be there. I'll say anything. And then you can't bribe me. You can't bribe me here. I'm like, ah. I don't know how she came in, in here, Lord. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how she made it to heaven. This was supposed to go straight to hell. I have no idea why. <laughs> you think it's over? Just wait until accounts are given. Pastors are called. Stand here. What do you think about Brother Peter? Mm, Peter. Even the Lord will know. He will say, don't worry, don't worry. Don't say nothing. Have you heard? Imagine you are in a queue like this. And I go in front. And another general is in front of me. And this big general, you were reading the book of, is in front of me now. That general, that general, and myself. And you, you are number seven. Approaching the judgment seat. Hell is that side. Heaven is that side. Then this general apostle so-and-so is told, hell. Are you just from the God? Lord? Don't waste your time. I know. I know my. I know where I need to go. I know my area. Thank you so much for the life you gave me. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Say, I will be a luminary. In the realm of the spirit, I will be a luminary. They shall know about me. They shall know about me. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Listen. Bishop Oyedepo was a young boy like this. He saw the horizon. He started running towards it. For kilometers. After kilometer. Kilometer upon kilometer. Running with his friend. A man met them. He said, hey, where are you going? He said, you're going to heaven. He thought he would just walk to the horizon and whoo. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Sit down. So just imagine, imagine a man who can actually think, I might just get into heaven now. What about the great Edwards who would preach he had providio grace that, 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 that when he would preach People would grab, literally grab at their seats like this for fear of falling into hell, literally. <laughs> what about the great Smith who goes with? Whenever he would say, let's pray, people would rush out of the church, run, and stand by literally the door like this. Literally grab at their seats like this for fear of falling into hell, literally. Outside the door, smoke would come out of the church. The glory smoke will rise. <laughs> People what run. About the great Smith who goes away. You, you, know, you see, you see whenever when you, you know say, you let's pray, People will rush out of the church. Not run. And stand you don't by know the what the like smoke will do to says, you. Amen. And while he's there, outside the door, smoke would come out of the church. Are you flowing the or you're going home? smoke will rise. <laughs> People run. Right in this town here, just up there, Near the College of Music, right? 
When the light came, when the, when the fire happened, we were 120. Fire started rising. Smoke from the same room. I'm preaching the smoke fills the room. And everyone is like, what's happening here? The fire brigade was called because we didn't know smoke was coming out. Fire brigade came. And they were looking and said, that is the source of the smoke. Our room now. They got in, I'm there, I'm just smiling. People are looking. I said, no. people are being moved. I said, no, it's not the smoke you think. It's a different smoke. What had happened? And funny enough, when we counted the numbers, were 120. And in the upper room, they were 120. I tell you the truth. You can change areas. I said you can change areas. Somebody under the influence of my voice. Your post will change in the spirit. And the natural will also respond. Ah. Sit down. Babalola is told by a witch. Four of them were in the place. Four. And one went away. Three left. They said, we know you have a crusade in this stadium. But you're not going to have anything. Because there's a full moon, a half moon, whatever the moon was. So, so this is our highest level day where we need to put our signals. So they were dancing their dances and doing all the kind of whatever jabawaki that they were doing in there. Moving up and down. Moving up, yeah, up and down. Ah, what is happening? He said, but I booked it. His own assistants refused to go. They said, no, no, say you can talk to them. I said, talk to them. Are you hearing me? Talk to them. We're not going to talk. You, you do it. <laughs> ah! He said, you do it. We're not doing it. He said, okay, now, when I come back here, you should have moved. They refused. They started cursing at him. He said, father, as in the days of Datan and Korah, Open this ground now to swallow these men. You know, at that time you have reporters. Reporters simply mean spectators. They are already watching. They, they, they know shutdown is about to take place. But you know, when, when witchcraft is there, you know, you stand from afar. You watch from afar. You don't need binoculars. You just know. We will know the results when they happen. <laughs> Hi. Standing there, you're looking. They said something is off here. They waited. And two, three men are standing there going dance their dances and chanting. And he prayed again. Father, in the name of Jesus, open these grounds. Like in the days of Datan and Korah. Swallow them. Boom. Boom. Two in. The third one, according to the report, not my report, was too fat to fit. Is the one who ran. To this day, if you go in Babalowa's region in Nigeria, there is even a crack that if you go down there, bones are there of men he made the earth open for. One man. Listen, it doesn't matter what you do. You can be called where you are. That RCCG, you know, big one. The man was going to relieve himself. Toilet. God didn't speak to him at his house. It was a tractor drive. Now, when you are busy, the angels stand and say, Yeah, I send you. Ah, ah. Not now. <laughs> the reason is simple. Why you are where you are now. You have no realization that this is a two world thing. Or when you hear us preach, it's a preaching for Sunday. What, if I want money from you, I'll preach about money. Just give. I have spoken to God in the morning that if you give, 1,000 will come to you immediately. Honestly. 
I'm preaching to you. So you become popular celebrities in the realm of the spirit. I'm giving you a head start. Because the enemy already got a head start. He's old. He has the advantage of time. Again, it's you. <laughs> he has been there before. He has tried all your angles. And he knows the generation you are in. Uh, this thing is serious. Abraham loved the fair women. Search for Isaac. You will see. David the same. All of them see a light in complexion. This is it. When danger gets into your family, you won't even see. Most of you don't even know what is wrong with your family. I was speaking to my brother one time and I said, if we leave our raw areas and you come here. I was, one time I was living in Masasa Park with my brother. Masasa Park and, and I think my brother was now making his way to, to, to another house and I got here in town, Harare. Very late, 11, 12, all the transport system gone. I had only one relative to go to. That's when I realized my family has problems. <laughs> How on earth can you get, if you live today, and go to London and be stranded in London, who do you go? Those who are watching, if you come here, and transport ends at 10, you'll be like the street kids. And they know the streets. Trust me, by following morning, you don't even have your bags. That's when you know something is wrong in my country. Something is wrong. Not because there is a country issue. There is a family issue. How come you have no angle to go to? How come not even your brother's, your father's brother lives in Arare? Not even a cousin, for a long lost cousin lives in London. All 200 people on your WhatsApp, every one of them in Chabalala. This effect I'm just giving you. Have you asked yourself? But when I saw it happen like that, I said, God, I need to be the one with houses here. I need to be the one with houses in UK. I need to be the one with houses and buildings in New York. You can call me while I'm in Harare, while I'm in Jobeg, and I'll tell you, go to my house in uh, which house do you like? Me and baby, we, dis we discussed and we realized how come we are paying $15,000 a service just to do four hours? The only problem is if we are doing that, guess what? The only thing is let's own halls in Harare. The Harare Hippodrome, the King James Hall, the Ross Stadium. Now we are building stadium. We have two holes going up. Why? We don't want to be in any person's thing. Do you understand? There is a brother here that I like from the Seventh-day Adventist. And he was teaching his people very, very brilliant stuff. I think it's called Rusikira, I believe. I believe that's the name. I might have missed the name. And he's trying to tell the Seventh-day Adventist that there is a scripture that says, in your house, 
opening your own doors with your own guests at your own house. So Sabbath cannot happen without your own house. You didn't hear me. The Bible already needs it to be yours. I don't understand men of God. Just I don't understand men of God. Just I'm just I'm having plans. See, See potential has to get to a certain way. Has potential. How can this man? We have see you at potential. He still has potential. 1992 potential, 93 potential, 94 potential, 2000 potential, 2010 you still have potential. See, potential has to get to a certain 2022. Way. Potential. 2000 potential, 2010 you still have potential. 2022 your husband has potential. Ah, Get lost. There is something when you realize we don't live in one world. We have an advantage. We have an advantage. We don't live in one world. We have an advantage. I remember I was going to, to UK for the first time and we, we went there with no visas at the first time. Went there with no visas. You just appear. <laughs> That's the issue. Way back, we didn't need a visa to go to UK. You then find it on arrival. And he was waiting for me, you know. And I remember I'm sitting in the, in the economy. Thank God for past tense. I never, I never even knew it was economy, you know. It is only now that I'm starting to figure it out. I was going to Zambia and, and, and something happened. I don't know, my ticket was put in uh, business. No, never economy. Business. I sat there like this. Huh. My team realized. Oh. I was with him. I said, no, 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 no. How, people, how are people surviving in business? They said, yeah, to go first class is what? 5,800 pounds to just get to Zambia. I said, please, please upgrade. I'm not here. I can't, I can't be here. All of a sudden, it was not worth it. Business itself was 1,500 pounds, I think. Somehow, me, the real me, can, couldn't do business. No, this is not pride. This is only 5,000. No, so. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to make you understand. It wasn't like big money. I said, they like, what on earth is this? Huh? And then my, I knew I could see the guy who was supposed to sit next to me. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you see your enemies, all of your enemies will be in there. I said, I, I'm going. But before I left, I, I, I kind of figured why it was like that. A woman came rushing. Prophet, prophet, I need a photograph. <laughs> now I don't take photos now. Now, my team was very slow. So I said, okay. I'm very humble. <laughs> it needs discernment, though. It needs discernment. <laughs> Soft as wool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, she's so excited to see me. And I'm like, okay, okay, sister. I said, yes, it's me. It's me, it's me, prophet. I said, it's you. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I am the woman. Now, you never know what people are going to say, you know. And, and my protocol is like, okay, 
uh, we, uh, um, and Pastor Bevan quickly realized the situation. He's like, okay, okay, I'll take the photos myself. I'll take the photo myself. And when you hear me saying, Bevan will take the photo, you're not getting it. <laughs> I'm open to the truth. We said, no, you're not. Uh, you, you sent you. Ah, there I lie. I said, you sent you. <laughs> maybe, who knows? Maybe in heaven. You know, you never know. If we are given an opportunity to show you your photo, so I'm telling the truth then. So he took the photo. Boom, 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 boom. Nice photo. I look at it. I'm like, <laughs> She's like, thank you so much for supporting me. I'm like, hey, why am I supporting this woman? He said, on Sunday, my boyfriend was in your church. And you chose me over the Ghanaian woman. I said, hey. She said, I'm a doctor in an America. So it was there, TV, and then my cousin and my family started calling me. Are you hearing me or you've gone home? Just imagine. Now I realize that's why I was in, 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 in business. So I'm moving in, going to, to Britain. As I got to, to somewhere, you know, I don't know, over, we were about to, uh, flying over Egypt. As we were flying over Egypt, guess what happened? Someone just came and sat with me. I was sitting alone there. And you know, when we were, we were about to get to Egypt, they, they're telling you how many hours you're about to get to Britain. And that whole plane becomes an intercessory vessel. Intercession begins to take place in there. And because people are going to Britain with no visas. Uh, you see people who don't believe God will start praying, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind the immigration officer who interview me. Are you hearing me or have gone home? I bind that immigration officer in the name of Jesus. I said, okay. Uh, so I'm just quiet there, not because I had no fear, but you know I'm a general. That was way back, eh? There's no general there. So I said, who are you, sir? He said, don't worry, don't worry about who I am. Just black guy. Don't worry about who I am. Okay, remove that. <laughs> so I, he said, Britain belongs to the Lord. I said, okay. This is really good revelation. I did not know. And I'm just thinking, so what? You know when somebody tells you revelation, that is not revelation. Let me explain to you. Revelation is not, listen, revelation is not information you didn't have that you now have. Revelation is working knowledge of the truth. So people think if they hear something that is so exciting that they didn't have, they're like, wow, the revelation is big. No, there is nobody with revelation who has not used it. So if your pastor tells you a revelation about money and is broke, it's not revelation. It's just new information. But when a man who is of substance, of increase, of money, of prosperity, of means, tells you a revelation to get money, then that is revelation. Why? It's no longer new information only. It's working knowledge of the truth. He has worked it out. It has produced results. Now he's giving you... Hear this. He said, yes. I want you to remember that. Britain is not for the British. It is something that belongs to God. I said, oh, okay. He left. Went to another class. I didn't see him after that. I got to, I'm in the queue now to see the immigration officer. And in that moment, your heart is now on its own. Or somebody, how many have you got experience? Thank you, thank you so much. 
Your heart is on its own. It's talking something else. You are here and your heart is talking. Your mind is also somewhere there. Your mind is reasoning that you should get in. Your heart is like, ah, you know yourself. You're not getting. How can they allow people like you? And you know it's you who is talking. When I was approaching, this guy had just gone through. And he was standing there, raising his hand like this. I don't... That's when I caught it. Britain belongs to God. So the immigration officer belongs to God. I'm actually belonging to God more than this immigration officer. So nobody in Britain has the power to tell me to go back if I want to get in. These are technicalities of men and inventions of men called immigration officers. So I... I have access to Britain because I got in there. They gave me 14 days. You would have cried. Now I'm British. How did it happen? I don't know if you're getting this. Are you getting this? When my wife came into Britain, she was given 28 days. A day before we got to be illegal immigrants, we are on a bus going to a location. I think it's called Longside. Yeah, Longside. And we're on there, in there, and we don't know what process to follow to get her visa to be extended. No, nobody, no one to ask. And we see this board that said, if you're about to overstay, call this number. She took the number, took the number. I memorized the address. Just, then we dropped. And we went straight to the lawyer. The lawyer said, no, okay, we can do this. We can use this technicality and this technicality. And now, by now, you can no longer be deported. Here is your, um, you, what do you give them when they ask you? That was way back. Then when we were about to come out of the, he said, where did you see my phone? Who introduced you to me? Who referred you? Said your billboard. Said there is no billboard. Yeah. Listen, when we left the office, Went to the place we saw the billboard. Not even the markings that there was ever a billboard. Nothing. Two of us saw the billboard. The number is there. The address is there. We read it. When I keep telling you, there are worlds. <laughs> Your difference is, the difference with us is, I believe it. You don't. I've seen it. You haven't. But you don't, it doesn't just appear like, yeah, no, I need to see Jesus now. <laughs> that today I will see him. I remember we went, all the days we went to the, to the Good News City, supernatural things were appearing. Lights, this, this, happening. <laughs> One of the only days we did not receive anything. When we were about to get in out of the car, one of our guys who was in another car said, Ah, Papa, today I will see that light. I said, Oh, Jesus is gone. <laughs> he had already taken God and put him in a box. You show me light today. Don't show me anything, just light. And God is not your worker. I know in your prayer you use him like that. Father, in the name of Jesus, fire. I need a house. You know me. Why, why would people look down upon me? I need my children. I need my husband. Don't forget my wedding. 100% hey. of your prayers are for needs. Yet Christianity has been reduced by so many to needs and wants. You are using Jehovah Jireh. That's it. Listen, God is king. God is judge. Hey, Lezo. Thank you. You reminded me. Thank you. Thank you. Just yesterday, I'm in my room. And I heard a voice. And the voice is just so clear. I had entourage. I said, entourage. 
So I thought, ah, these guys were outside. So I opened my try and see. I called out these guys to see if they said anything. I got in, I closed. Entourage. I said, Entourage. An entourage. That's when I realized, I said, God, I'm listening. It wasn't even God speaking. The angel of the Lord was speaking to me. He said, God is king. And before a king's arrival, he always sends an entourage. You are part of the entourage. I say, hey. <laughs> so I bring the same revelation to you. You are God's entourage. I said, you are God's entourage. We are the protocol. The ashes of God. So when we tell you he's about to come, it's because we heard it from him. I said, you're his entourage. I said, hey. I heard it audibly like I would hear you. And remember, I know what I say when I say audibly. Spiritually audible. Sit down. You can be a celebrity. <laughs> Paul, we know. Ah! Even demons register. I say, Paul, don't touch Paul, okay? Don't. Paul, we know. Susan, we know. John, we know. Peter, we know. Angel, we know. Hey! Gary, we know. Who are you? It means they didn't know these characters. In the realm of the spirit, the names were not there. That means every time you become famous in the realm of the spirit, they register it. They tell all demons. There is a guy now who just, a new, new, new guy on the scene. Imagine your name has not been heard. Even the demons will ask you, who are you? <laughs> when Jesus went to cast out demons out of Legion, look at what demons said. So said, are you trying to cast us before at the time? They even knew the time. Notice, it says, we adjure you by the name of God. Demons knew their master is the devil. But when they were faced with such force, they said, we will not call the devil here. He will be killed. <laughs> Imagine what power it takes for demons to call upon the name of Jesus, to prevent you from delivering them using the name of Jesus. Imagine when you arrive and the demon said, in the name of Jesus, don't touch me. You have that power now in the name of Jesus. I release that power now. I release that confidence now. I release that God confidence now. Deeper realms. I wish you could understand it. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. Acts chapter number 13. I will read from verse number 5. I wish you guys would just, you know, get to a point where you say, you know, I believe this. I need to rush with this. When they were at Salamis, are you getting it? They preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had also joined to their minister. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus. The word Bar means son of Jesus. This is why we have a person called Barabbas, son of the father. Bar, son, A ah, of Abba, son of the father. And Jesus is the son of the father. So there were two sons of God committing to be released. And they were all arrested because of politics. And they were all Jews. They were political prisoners. Now the Jews were told to choose between the two sons of God. Bar Abba. Barabbas. Then Jesus, the son of God, who called his father for the first time in the history of the Greek language, Abba. It was a term coined by Jesus specifically if you ask theologians that Jesus didn't want to call his father father because father is the fa kind of father like mine. Mine was not a dad. He was a father. <laughs> so 
Somebody's hearing a hey, ba 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 everywhere. <laughs> you will not play football with my father. Where? How? Which football? <laughs> the man was a headmaster. Political. Politician. In this same Zambiev. Very high up in the province. And he would be in the house. We had two houses. One which was just three kilometers from the school. And another one which was 11, uh, 9. About 7 to 8 kilometers from the, house, from the school. And you would drive past us <laughs> to school. He will not wave back. And remember, he is the headmaster. His brother is sitting there. And he gets to, he gets to, to the place like this. And when he got, I said his brother is sitting there. If you were in media, I would pick that, that man there. That stupidity has to go. I'm still waiting. See, it's so easy. Media is the easiest. Now they are showing you my brother now. This man there, 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 there. I'm the only man who can preach, correct the media at the same time. If you're stupid, you need to be corrected. In The Bible says they rebuke the stupid ones publicly. It's in the scriptures. Media has to use ears. All of them is, well, who is this one that they put there? You understand when I prophesy, media should be learning they are prophesying through me. And I'm prophesying through them. This world here will not get anything if the media is stupid. Amen. Now hear this. Are you here? Yes. <laughs> we'll get to the school. Guess what? Now we get, it, we get the late. Because he's the one who stops us from going early. And then you would be by the gate beating up all the latecomers. <laughs> and then when he came to school fees, it's, it's not a lie. They can tell you. When he came to school fees, you will not pay. Then one day you will beat everyone and, and explore everyone who has not paid school fees. We will be part of the team. the truth. That's the kind of father. You know, it's not Abba. My sister, they would be number one every time. She's number one in school. And then she had a problem that the, the father was also headmaster and teacher teaching their class. So she would be number one. When she becomes number one, guess what would happen? You, you know, at the assembly line, they will call number one, this one, number two, this one, and the students will be 40, and you'll be number 42. <laughs> number 42. The whole school is like, ah, this, you are a headmaster. Your students are very stupid. Then you go home, he will give you the real report, you are number one. <laughs> That's not the father we are talking about that Jesus was talking about. <laughs> That man was tough. His nickname was the one who can push a dweller. Yeah. Yeah. If I was in this big rope there that crops out of the ground up to there, you could push it. <laughs> he says, I'm, I've been angry a hundred times. I got angry with you a hundred times. But because I understand, I will beat you only 20 times. <laughs> Even you, you understand this understanding. You know, like... If you beat me according to the proportion of your anger, I will suffer. <laughs> so Jesus used the word to try and describe a certain father who has come into a point where now you are friends with him. You are co-sharers of his thoughts. My sister was... Um, was supposed to be married like the same night. Like today, you know, you come to pay your, your bridal prize. 
and there is just a road like this. And the Midu man is actually across the road. And the in-laws, of course, the husband-to-be and the family are sleeping over across the road. When I say across the road, I think you don't understand this. From where I am to our ever illustrious and ever intelligent media, there. <laughs> and then there is a road here. And he knows that's where my daughter's husband-to-be is in the family. And tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to do the... My sister managed to leave the house to just cross over. <laughs> she was beaten like you have never seen in your life. Who, who were you with? Uh, the, the man who is supposed to marry. Are you married? <laughs> and then tomorrow, what happened the following day? She got married. <laughs> were you told they were there? Yeah, that's my friend there. <laughs> I what I'm saying. This whole case also with I told you about evangelist. Eh? Evangelist thought he was more clever than me. So I will break things and never say anything. Why would I tell anyone? It's broken. So evangelist made a very huge mistake. He went and told my mother that, oh, I broke this plate. My mother said, that's what I like. Don't be like that brother of yours. <laughs> You are the guy I like. You tell me when something is wrong. He was so happy. <laughs> he broke again. And took it. He was beaten. <laughs> so this is now too much. <laughs> I told him, don't show anyone. You know, this is, you break, you, it happened. Don't fix it. You, no, you can't fix it. So parents like that are not the ones we're talking about when we say Abba. <laughs> Put up the scripture anyway. <laughs> and when they had gone throughout the Isle of Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, mm -hmm. which was the, with the deputy of the country. These guys were powerful. Sergius Paulus. A prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. Hush. This man was moving with the vice president of a country. And he was a sorcerer. A witch. A false prophet. A Jew. A liar. But his power worked. But Elimas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation withstood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. He's like, don't, don't, don't go anyway. Do see what I will do. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost. Hey. So you know what the Holy Ghost will do. The Holy Ghost does not fill you up so you speak in tongues. Glory be to God. Yeah. <laughs> There is a lady I ministered about uh, a man somewhere in another place with the white substance, stuff like that. It's a white substance. Please don't make me say things. I just want to see you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming up there. Are you here? Yeah. Let's put that scripture up so I can show you something. In fast, 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 then we do what we need to do right now. Because of time. Who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost. Set his eyes on him. Notice, your Holy Ghost you are using. And when you want a job. And say it all full of 
settled. All mischief, doubt of the devil, thou enemy. It was, he was full of the Holy Spirit when he said these things. See, when you called someone, say, that's the devil. Yeah, full of the Holy Ghost. He spoke to the media. Sorry, and <laughs> I don't know. Yes, uh, scriptures. Now, enemy of righteousness, will thou not cease to perfect the right ways of the Lord? Mm. And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee. Kushakaba. So the hand of the Lord being upon thee does not mean say you are now being helped. Thou shalt be blind, full of the Holy Ghost. Not seeing the sun for a season. You can even adjust the time you will be blind. I tell you the truth. There are luminaries on this earth who can prevent oxygen from entering your nostrils. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeing, seeking some to lead him by the hand. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Then the, the deputy went and he saw what being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. <laughs> what doctrine? This blinding doctrine. What is it? This blinding doctrine it says when the deputy he saw what was done. Do you see the scripture? Full of the Holy Ghost. He blinded a person. And when the deputy saw what was done, he believed but was astonished at the doctrine of God. That means they are doctrines. As far as I understand X is in the New Testament. Written by a man called Luke, who was a follower of Paul. And I understand you don't read these things. You think it was Paul who wrote the book of Acts. No, because the book of Luke, if you, you notice, Luke 1. Ah, I'm waiting. For as much as many have taken in hand, set forth in order the declaration of those beings which are most surely believed among us, even as they believed them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the Lord, it seemed good to me also, having a perfect understanding of these things, uh, the very first to write unto thee in order our uh, most excellent Theophilus. Let's go to Acts chapter number 1, verse number 1. The former titus, have I made all Theophilus? The former letter, I gave you another letter. Oh, Theophilus. It's Paul, it's Luke. Luke who is doing it. So Luke is saying, I wrote another one to you. Now I'm writing another one. So the book of Acts is written by Luke. But notice, he blinded the men, and the deputy was surprised at the doctrine. What doctrine do you have that people can believe and fear? What doctrine do you have? I said, what doctrine do you have that people can fear you? John Alexander Dowie, a woman shouted from the back and said, you are not Elijah as you claim. He said to the ushers, go check outside. He said, if there, is, if there is Elijah in you, this city has been dry for years with no rain. Why can't you call rain to come? Four years, no rain. He dropped his knees from the pulpit. I said, oh, oh, Father, if I'm not like Elijah, then let these people judge me. But right this minute, I call heaven to drop rain. The ashes, he said, go check. As the prophet said, go check. He said, go check to the usher. And the report says, and the usher was too late. When he got to close the door, to open the door, Rain came in torrents. They stayed there for two days in the same room. That's when men have changed their capacity, their oxygens, their energy. 
But we don't talk of energy before light. All this thing you feel, this sadness you have around the world, oh, if things, ah, it's a lack of light. Because if you have light, you have energy. Listen, let there be light. He produces sound. Sound produces vibration. Vibration is energy. Energy, light. He spoke. Ah, check signs. And notice, an energy. And light, when light comes, matter is produced. Energy is the production engine for matter. So sound came. Vibrations, energy is created, light is created, and then matter. So what starts is sound. Creates energy. Those vibrations create energy. Particles are hitting against each other, particles. Guess what happens? Listen. Immediately, matter is produced. This is the reason why people say, what's the matter with you? All they are asking is, what sound are you producing? To say what's the matter with you is because they had a certain sound that wasn't supposed to come out of you. Because it is sound that produces matter. Your mouth. Listen to me. Your mouth was never created to be silent. Was never. It was not created for food. You eat like you're at a wedding party. There are people 7 p.m. already sleeping. 7. <sighs> Why are you sleeping? I could never get. For those who don't understand my language, there is no electricity. <laughs> Honestly, do you think it's time to sleep? With what is happening around the world, do you think it's time to sleep? Listen, do you remember the days when we would move, even in the rural areas, it was green, water everywhere, birds chirping, animals everywhere. You would look at rabbits and don't care. And it's not in this only. It's in Britain. It's in every country. Right now, River Euphrates is gone. Right now, the rivers in Europe, 80% dry. Mm. All the rivers. What has taken place? Is it experienced in Africa only? No. The world has taken a new turn. It's only you who has no idea there is activity. In Nigeria, a woman died. And they just said he's, she's dead. Went to the funeral. One day a woman went to the market. Listen to me. Oh, God, I don't have time for that. Okay, I will do it. Now, the, the woman gets to the, to the market. See, let me do what the Lord said right now. See, he's telling me right now. Which, listen to me. It's only you who thinks this world is this world. According to the Lord, it's a market. Destinies are being traded for demonic entities. Destinies. It's a market. When you go to the pub and you think it's just a clubbing area, you've gone to a market. You just don't know it. That you are the one being traded. When you say weekend party, it's just, it's just a party. I was there, service I did Monday, I did Sunday, I then went to practice on Wednesday. I, I attended the Wednesday service. I'm go Listen to me. It's not just a party. It's a market. You are the only one who doesn't know that something is being sold because you are the one for sale. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Have you ever seen that you can have goats feeding on grass around a pot being boiled to cook them? Yeah. 
Have you ever wondered why fish get finished? Say, oh no, that river, ah, fish, yeah, no more. An uncle, a father comes, mother, children, uncle, grandfather of a fish. is in there. A worm comes in. All of them are looking. It's gone. Dips again. The grandmother goes. Gone. The angle comes. Not once says, eh, guys. <laughs> this thing here. Something is wrong here. Because <laughs> it's a market. Amen. Do you understand why Instagram is free? Why Facebook is free? Why Twitter is free? You're the market. You say, but, but, but they don't charge me. You're being charged. You just don't know it. How do they make money? They make money by the number of people that begin to read adverts that they sell. So they are selling your attention. The time you go on Instagram like this, they are banking on you clicking on adverts. That means the advert company are actually paying for your attention. You think it's free. Because it didn't come in monetary forms, the request. The request came in ignoring prayer. You're ignoring intimacy with God. That's where the request is. That's where your payment is. You're hating a preacher, you see. You just see. You see, you better angel for two minutes. Isaiah Sophie for five minutes. You make a doctrine out of that thing. You see, Pastor Chris, for five seconds, one minute thing is answering a thing. One cut thing that doesn't bring a totality of everything you have taught. Well, I, I know. Angel, Angel thinks, you know, Angel says the prophets are on the uh, head of, yeah, he's, he's evil. He's not a man of God. Huh? Just because you have no revelation, it doesn't mean to say the person with the revelation because the revelation is progressive. Yes. We are the fullness of him that filleth all. You know, what do you think that means? Everyone here is on the Godhead. Does it make you God? No. We are the body of the person in the Godhead. So you think his body is out of the Godhead? <laughs> Let me tell you something. So this guy goes to, this lady goes to the market. Didn't attend the funeral of this lady. And they hated each other. Somewhere they had uh, some grudge that happened. And as they are buying, as she's buying at the market. This is Nigeria. I'm not talking about 20 years ago. Buying at the market. She looks, sees the same lady they buried. Buying also. And when she looks, she realizes, the lady recognizes her and says nothing. Now imagine you meet a dead person at a marketplace. And they look at you and they show you the same face that they showed you when they were angry with you. So she's trying to understand what happened. We buried her. Am I confused? So she followed. Just a few meters from the market turned around. This woman turned around gave her a slap on the face. Struck one side. How do you tell people? It is only during deliverance at a church in Nigeria where the lady sat down and said, this is what happened. I saw this lady at the marketplace and people saw me being beaten. And my daughter can confirm it is the same lady we buried. Same dress she liked the most. She's wearing it. Stroke. Hand here. Leg can't move. How were you beaten by somebody who you, you, you had a funeral? Listen to me. It's only you who doesn't know this world is parallel. There are two worlds. So you never venture there because there's no time to take the power there and bring it here. 
So you move like there is nothing out there. Say, but, but, but I'm a child of God. <laughs> That's why I told you this. Unto us a child is, a son is. So a child is born. But only a son grows. Galatians 1. Quickly because of time. Do you see what I'm trying to say to you? Yes, Boy and apostle, not of men. Let's go too. And all the brethren which are with me. Let's go. Grace be unto four. Who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from his, this present evil world according to the will of God in our Father. Let's go. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that you are so, so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ, into another gospel. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you. I want you to go back to six so that you understand our message. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. Into another gospel. Remain there. I want to use another English. I marvel that you soon so removed from that car into a Mercedes Benz. Now wait, 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 wait. That means a Mercedes is also a car. No, you're not getting it. So grace of God is not a revelation in the gospel. It is the gospel. Let's read it again. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. So the grace of Christ is a gospel. Then it says you are being removed from the gospel of the grace of Christ into another gospel. So if a person is preaching grace or good news, he's not preaching a weaker version of the gospel. It is the gospel. And this, listen, in the end of days, there shall come a time in the end of days, which shall be like the days of Noah. Yeah. Let's just go back to the book of Genesis and see what Noah preached. And Noah found grace. So the Bible says, the end of days shall be like the days of Noah. So what should people preach now? Grace. Not the law. And what is grace? The gospel. I think you have heard it being said that oh, pre grace is not the gospel. It's just, you know, part of the gospel which is weaker. The Bible calls it you are removed from the grace of Christ into another gospel. Anything that does not bring grace is another gospel. I know what you like. You like rules and regulations. Don't do this, don't do that. We are simply telling you God is king. God is father. So as a father, he will forgive you if you sin. You even make it to heaven. But as a king, he will not allow you to operate. So you know you are forgiven. But you have other areas that he restricts you from. I gave my, my sons an ability to just eat all the sweets they needed when they were young. For the sweets, they just eat, guys. They ate the sweets nicely. And to, I said to them, look, just do maybe five, five, five after you come from school. So I put it out there. Boom. A whole country of sweets. They came in and looted the whole thing. <laughs> and I realized something was off. Not because I hated them. But I then took five, five, put them there and took the whole bunch and put in the and locked. Then I realized some were now taken from other. <laughs> so I realized now you come to me when you want sweets. Amen. What am I doing? I'm putting demarcations now as the leader when it comes to these sweets. I'm still the father, I love them. But because they are disobeying, I can't throw them away. But I can put a restriction to the sweets. Oh, yes. So some of you have no idea why you are in this mess now. You are in this mess not because God hates you. 
We have no realization that these worlds we are in are true. You can literally, listen, sometimes I get woken up, I uh, wake up, somebody is calling or, or your father is calling or I get to wake up because my father is calling. And I wake up, I'm having a dream somewhere and I wake up like, oh, okay, dead and we speak and then I put the phone down and I literally say, I'm going back to the same dream. And I start from where I fin ended. Sometimes I just start a little bit before. And while I'm actually dreaming, I was like, yeah, I've seen this before. Fast forward. <laughs> this is the truth. The whole truth. But for me to be able to do that, I remember asking Pastor Chris one time, How do, what do you dream about? And I was dreaming everything. I was dreaming things chasing me. And so I said, I got tired of running. Then he said to me, I never dream. I said, what do you mean you don't dream? He said, I continue what I was doing in the afternoon. No, you don't understand this. That means if he was on a plan to how to get money to do this building or that building or how to uh, engineer this building, it's not about money. I'm just giving you as an example, all right? So don't think I was told about money. It's like when he has got all these things that he wants to do, the moment he sleeps, he continues planning. Now, now, listen to me. Listen to me. You can't outdo that man. Because the eight hours you are dreaming of beans, the man is continuing. <laughs> I got to the prayer mountain with these guys, with this good news city, and I sat by under this tree. And I said, I want to sit here. I want to get some more things here. The moment I sat down, I saw my wife standing next to me in our uniform, our blue uniform. I was arguing with her, you know, I think they should be black. I think they should be this. I think they should be that. Until, boom, I'm sitting there and I'm taken away by the spirit. And seeing her stand there, I'm like, huh? I said, Lord, I get it. And the tree is still in front of me. And I know I'm not in the world, but I'm in outside of the world. And I know the tree is there. And I could look and see the tree, but I know I'm not there. But I'm still there and I'm looking at the tree, but I'm sitting here. And my wife was not there. She was praying. She normally prays like about uh, 50 meters away from me on a, on, in a on spot. And, and then it happened. I got another vision. I stopped it. I said, I need another deeper one. I go to about six. I would stop, cancel them. Cancel, 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 cancel. And until I got to the throne room and I saw the four living creatures. I said, this one I, I want to see. Now just imagine, your mindset is, oh my God, I won't be able to do that. You know, it needs, it requires giants. No, it requires a decision. You know, you can leave this place right now and say, yeah. Good night, baby. I'm going to sleep now. What is it? You say, yeah. I, the, the dream tonight will be about heaven. I'll be in heaven tonight. Just seeing some few things and come back. Yes. Yes. Huh. You see, as you continue deciding, continue deciding, you get to a point where a dream comes that is not the one you like and rebuke it. Yes. And you tell it, ah, not you. Yes. Not this line of thought. I need another one. Mm -hmm. Then another one comes. You say, not this one. Another one. Yes. Not this one. Now just imagine if jobs are like that. I remember going into, into Britain the first time. My brother here was the one who invited me to Britain. And I got there. He was at work. They found me gone. I never walked in Britain before from the airport to his house. The following day, he tried to call me. I already had a phone number. And I was at work. The guy is like, where, where are you? I'm like, hey, please, please. My boss is here. You please. He's like, where, where are you? Uh, he's here, evangelistic league, I can tell you. I'm always at work. He said, ah, I thought you were supposed to wait a little bit, just enjoy a little bit, familiarize. Ah! The Bible says, occupy till I come. Oh, yes. Do business till I come. Yes. What if Jesus comes here? Yes. Came home, was already there, sitting down. I'm waiting for my salary. <laughs> Seriousness is required. 
around the world. Here we've gone into this deeper life realm. Yet some of you were left in that age before the deeper life. Sometimes I literally have people that I can call and not one can do anything I say. Me, don't try me when it comes to Pastor Chris. Don't try nothing. I do anything. I'm telling you now. Anything. He's not watching this. Huh? He'll be in service right now. And when he finishes, this one will be blocked. Anything. Absolutely anything. And when your father knows you are absolutely an anything person, the changes that can come over your life are like this. Why? Because in this day and age, what lacks is loyalty. There is loyalty with boundaries. I love you, but... I, I will be part of this church and, uh, until... But you know, you never know. See, the difference between me and you is I'm dedicated enough to be able to be used by God to do anything. Amen. Now hear this. Look at the stupidity that is happening around the world. Where if you say what God says, people say, yes, but it was obvious. Who, who are you? Th wh why, if it was obvious, number one, why didn't you say it? Amen. Number two, let's say it was obvious. Does God only speak things that are not obvious? Listen, if God says, this country really angel, this country is called Zimbabwe, how come you say, that? God told me it's called Zimbabwe, really, really for sure. It can be obvious to your mind, but remember, prophecy is simply what God said. That's it. It's not meant to prove to you. Listen, if the prophecy that I speak only touches two or three people, it was meant for two or three. If you notice, people say, why do you give prophecies on football? Do you realize, even, I think it's on Instagram, right? The most followed person is a footballer. 3.5 billion fans. That's what football has. Now imagine if God touches that area. We now have over 20 footballers. Listen, over 20 football, footballers in our church, professional footballers. How, how, how are they doing this? How are they coming to our ministry? Because they are astounded. They are shocked at how I can predict that this one is this one. They are shocked. Absolutely shocked. They are absolutely shocked. Cops smart. They are, they, are, they are like, what? What's happening? <laughs> are, you, are you getting it? Now, So because it doesn't touch you, football doesn't touch you. It doesn't mean say it's not touching someone else. It is touching someone. In fact, it touches 3.5 billion. There are people who have come to the knowledge of the truth because of one football match result I predicted. And it wasn't a prediction. I don't, it was a prophecy. Prediction is kind of involves some guessing. Let me tell you. People don't want the truth. You think they need the truth. They don't need it. People don't. When you give them the truth, they revolt. They hate it. I'm here. The reason why Spirit Embassy has gone into a deeper life phase is if your money was shallow, deeper now. If your devotion to God was surface, deeper now. I can move from here to there and ask, what can you do if you're told by prophetess or by me to do something? Do you know what everyone will say? Anything. Until they are tested. That's when the insides of your spirit will begin to reveal to you that, yeah, what you were saying is not true. That was the problem of Job. Job had convinced God, but did not convince the devil. 
That's why God said, have you seen my servant Job? And the devil said, does he fear you for nothing? In other words, the devil knew, I'm not yet convinced about his loyalty, as you are convinced. He said, touch everything he has, he will kiss you. And Job did. The devil knew exactly. Uh, I know we read the end of Job, but we don't read the middle and his words and his friends' words. There were some words there of doubt. Read it. That's nice about Bible. It's not the Quran. The Bible will not the Bible will not polish the characters of his people. No, it doesn't. The Bible tells you of David who is after God's own heart. The same David when he died, they put two virgins in the blanket. Two women in the blanket just to see. There's a gadget, I believe, called the free blade, right? That, that thing that goes like, boom, shock thing. They used women for him. Put in the blanket. Say, if he does not move, the guy is dead. <laughs> the man who was go after God's own heart. <laughs> it's not trying to fix anything. It's just telling you what it is. But that guy would kill for God. Notice, God chose loyalty over his own personal character. Have you convinced the devil that you are dedicated to God forever and nothing changes you? If somebody comes right now and points a gun at you like this and say, I will shoot you if you don't deny Jesus. You'll be like, no, 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 no. Uh, me, Allah Akbar. <laughs> After you are safe, you say, I'm, I'm sorry, Lord. You know, you know, I'm very sorry. Imagine all these things. There is no one of you. It will be very few people here that will lie dead here. You will find a way to come out of that predicament. And the Bible says some were tortured. Some were killed. Some were sown asunder. But some refused the deliverance. Do you understand that God had said, yeah, I'm going to save you. They said, no, 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 no. We don't want to be saved. We'll die. If somebody points a gun at you, what will you do? Deny Jesus or die? Most of you here will refuse Jesus. Deny him. That tells me the main reason you have not believed him to the end. And you are not aware of the other world. That the other world this is why I tell you that one day you hear that you be the angel. Our spirit name as the good news world is dead. And as the great preacher said, do not believe it for a second. For in that moment, I'll be more alive than now. Yeah. If the rapture doesn't happen early and it doesn't come, if the rapture doesn't come, maybe it happens a hundred years from now. Maybe all of us here would be gone. But where? You're not just going to go just because you. it is your devotion to the person you love. I'm not talking about the law here. Just an intimate relationship with the Lord. Where are you going to go when you die? You. Ask yourself that question. Is your legacy going to end on gossip? The whole city knows you for gossiping. When you are arriving like this, the friends say, yeah, she's coming. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't say nothing. They know you will take that and give it to someone, you. BBC. You are broadcasting everything. Where are you going to go if you die today? I'm asking this question. Where are you going to go? Tell yourself the truth. You know, when people get to this point of asking themselves, they say, um, you know, God is merciful. Then you know. <laughs> they know exactly where they are going. Yeah. Around the world right now. Yeah. Take a moment. Take a time.
to rededicate your life to the Lord now, right now. Begin to do it. Raise your hands and begin to do it. Right this minute. Take your time. Take your time. Right this minute. Do it. Do it now. Baruka Bahan. Ikajuli Yama. Ezuka Tamo. Rakuje de le grey. Rata Catalaza. Jegija pronta lika pronta leke behe. Jika to zadea. Parosa tela nansa kida bahaya diato. Prose koja de la bahaya. Rakuja de la granta kida bahaya nianto. Paroseko yakataya bahaya. Nansa non de bronda li gra. Daske bahai. Ruseke behere de rande korano so marananda kida gahaya. Prasuja de akose non to manadia kabahai. Blari grunte le grace da kabaha. Prosako ja de akazon tenen so pranda. Raglora grace katranda kida bahaya kiato. Zuje do. Parosako ya dia kabaha. Rita degora bronta lineske branda kida bahai. Ruka bea gaya bagaha. Redigo brazo. Parose clera nanza kida gahaya kiato. Juge de behere dea. Digu branda, rupa digi bahaya kiati, zaziza bahaza ziato, parosento, lokro, praglo, randa kira gahaya kiata, zuki bahaya kayati, zeziza zo bahaza ziataya, necron prando clara diati, shi badoya kaya diata, zabahiji kayati, nendo la rosso prando kola daya diati, crack roske bronte le kreista kira bahaya. Luza ziji bahaya ziata, kuba zija baya, reke de bege here de, rande clara taya zizu bahaza ziati, jabra zahaya kata, o rapron telekele ziata, juzi guba haya kaya diate la noso, prak lera aika bahaya diante, suzi jaza kaya, rande kalato je de brehe, prak lera aglara nanda kida kaya kiata. Zuje karasei jado parantaya nanda kaya daya kuzi bahaza zuja bahaya ge reniko palaso jakeja granda kira gahaya sija pro prakto lonosko claritaya nija zuji kaya leko shate la kabahaya nende kela noso paradi lidi bahaya guja breya Rakle Agnos Pradolosko Rakadushe Pradika Bahaya Jedia Zoja Do Rolinoso Paranon Seleketele Beheya Liza Zija Kuya Dia Bahayante Nizu Vraglora Nisko Pranta Lika Dija Kayataya Sande Kayado Jebro Zika Bahaya Giata Rubia Hazagaya Bagaya Gada Rende Keleketele Begedea Parose Yese Behere Zeja Kubia Gaza Bahai, Nantaya, Nantaya, Levi Zagoza Bahaya Ko, Parikote Zakia Katala Ziata, Luri Clara Taya Zija Bahaya, Tentikona Noso Parania, Osebo, Rapagi Zagade, Nandikuya Zibaya Kide, Rebeno Soprenaya, Shakadea Soya Ninza La Drinking Club Raya, Pariko Sado Shake, Kasuja de Bahaya Nianto, Mokrela Araklaya Nianza Kabahaya Pariba Riba Dia Kado Jose Krontaliko Payante Anasa Kabaha Lubira Aladai Sizo Bahaza Ziataya Shantaya Nanza Kida Gahalagaya Reproske Prakto Shekotaya De Zezusa Bahaza Zaya Lente Rekete Reproske Lera Aratoya Kataya Jesusa, <laughs> Zakatala, le pere ke te pere ke te pere ke te. Sanse rako sake la kaya hai. Li fazi ko tayaso. Parunte le ke te. Shara te la sisi a hasava. Prate la kia jo behere ziata. Linta kaya, linta kaya. Rafa kini bahaza ziata. Rosekle 
Kraka taka taya ziza bahaya. Ne dosaya pa. Le bija kronta. Lo se korata ya siata. La kisha parato. Monsgre pronta la kataya. Se zebe heze geteya. Li porika ya taya nyanza. No si pro. Rapa kina tia kadala ha. Le zebe heze geteya. Li kango de parato ya nyanza. Sazaba. Sazaba. Le gete behe. Tarate ya karato ya nyanza. Lika te rakusa ke la diata kabahai sisi bahasa ziata ya regete begete tante rambang kunda lika taya ziati shabahi di kaya regete begete rambang kunda rambang kunda langita zaki shakila to regete lebe sisi bahasa ziata lenta ya lenta ya yese yese shabahi shakoko ya nza lito maro prekola ita kaya. Kisha tizi krahanta la kianza Lingu di balantaya Leze beheya Riba haso kolanti ya nante Lezu si bahaza ziata Shaba gaya gata Rege de zia zoje le pronta lianzo Masa pra Lipa inta aya ziati Keje, keje Shaka do shaki la baya Berosa koya ke Aso po preta li nata Lata ina ziaka bahaya Lebegete begeregete ya Shanti ya soleke Kalamino paronte legete le ziato Yosira aglaya Lelegete le pranto la noso parataya Yagata ya kia jege beregete Sonti ya ngore nende ke legete ya Kisha si Saka hiya tene seke lebegete ya Parakoya, parakoya Yekete Sali ara nondre intaliata Yesekete lebegete Zaprahaya, la bagaya tay, legese ye begete ya, lingo mega do legete le diata, ya sika talaya. There is a move of the spirit, and sometimes it takes time to get to lock into you, and sometimes it's just a moment that you realize that wherever you are, anything can happen, anything can take place. These things don't take time. You got to believe who you are. That's the most, most important thing. Believe it. Rahu kazuk lesh. Parazu sen kalecho mare do zalagus kedabo. Irozina maand refin ko anes. Veritale gut kanem. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you are tired of getting tired, around the world, you are tired of getting tired, something is about to move. In the name of Jesus, around the world, I speak right this minute, everything to break. Break forth. Break through. Break out. In the name of Jesus, be seen, be seen, be seen, be exposed. Yes. 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 Some things don't need a lot of things. All right? There. There. La huku shik don't like takita po. Terene non se. Vak te inko ha. Yes. Parunenge niutia tekupa. Zuz kaka. Don't worry, okay? It is well, come. Because of time. There is a lot you have gone through now. A 
lot. You've gone through a lot. <laughs> and the enemy has tried to kill you several times. Yes, that's the truth. <laughs> because as you are standing there like this, yes, it's like there is no real man to support you. Nobody. I'm only it's just on your own like this. Maraline Cremon Van Vescova. So, if you sell your refrigerator, how much will it be? I wanted to sell how it. How much will it be? 800. 800. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Come. Now, you might be shocked why I'm saying the things I'm saying. Don't worry. Because as I'm speaking to you now, this thing was everywhere. Even under your bed. Under your bed. Right now as I'm talking to you. Let me what explain. Is in a gas. This is it. This is This is it. A night can a night you can be it can be exciting night. But the moment you put your head on the bed like this, even in one plate they come. They are coming. Dead people. That is so they eat with you. Dead people every day. <laughs> there is a world that is different. My friend. <laughs> Even when you are the desk, the table will be set like this. People will be eating, looking at you like this. Some don't say nothing. You just know this one is my relative who died. Yes, this one I don't know, the, but they're dead. Yes, Some of them will be dirty. Yes, it's like they just came out of the grave. Yes, prophet, I found myself in the grave. <laughs> Your problem is you think what we do here is just a preaching behind the stage. There are real problems out there. And this lady who told you about me? TV. Just TV. She says TV. I saw you delivering another woman from a spirit of python. I see python every day. You see a python every day? It's like I'm a snake. It's like you moving like a snake. It's like I've been in the forest for the past 56 years. <laughs> you people, you have no idea what life is. There is a world. You think I'm just prophesying. I prophesy things that when I'm preaching here, you think it's a preaching. There are things out there. You start asking your children to write things. I'm not talking about here. I'm not talking about generally. If children go to school and are, are asked, name three domestic animals. Yours will say cat, dog, chicken. Some will write snake, crocodile. And the teacher will say fail, fail, fail. And the child will wonder, why am I failing? I have a snake at home. I have not realized. Then it goes to people like this. The moment I laid my eyes on her, I saw fire from you to him. Do you know him? No, I don't know. Which other country do you know? Zambia, South Africa. Anyway, she started with Zambia. That's where Prophet Isaiah comes from. Yes. And this is something that a child of yours, let's see that picture. This one, now imagine this one. Imagine this one. All this is like somebody comes, gives birth to these people, and somebody dies. And now you are the only guardian who is taking care of this. And money, you have nothing. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you have this age. I need to see a man called Angel. But you don't know where to see me. 
Because if you see, you come to church, you might think just you might just sit there like others and you'll not be able to see me. Because they've watched TV where I prophesy to two, three people and go home. So he said, if I go there, there is a problem. I won't be able to see this man. That is you, what you're used. Thinking, and then when you heard there was IVP, you said, this is it. So I said, I must sell this fridge around her. I moved her she wanted home. to sell what? Refrigerator. I talked to Priscilla. Ah, now you are getting it now. I said, you're what? You're getting it. We'll give you money that is beyond that refrigerator. <laughs> I received. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now imagine you wanted to sell something and you come here and God says, okay, as for that one, it's a different story. That one, no matter what, cannot raise anything to do anything now. I want you to talk to that woman. And here she is. So it's not like God doesn't know. There are things we say, this one, we need some people who also help us build what we want to build. That's why sometimes we have our tickets for Millionaire Academy. We have tickets for, for IVP. Why? Because we just, we have accommodation. We have these things that need to be done. And we have, we have to be in this same place with, with uh, transport systems and food and stuff like that. It's not free. Amen. But God doesn't charge for what he does. So people come like this. Come to church. You have not been charged. You are here. You get prophecies for free. You have not been charged. That's why in our church we no longer do anything close to anything called one-on-one. -on -one. If you want a personal encounter with me, it's a very big difference. And even the day you see me, I won't even prophesy. I give you an instruction. And that's the end of it. I'm coming, Mama. Relax. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Angels. Jesus. You see, if I answer your prayer request, it will be a problem. Hmm? Do you understand that all the children you have, no one will equal this one? I didn't know. Uh -huh. So, so, are you ending on four children? Yeah, I want to end now. Uh, imagine somebody has three boys and now the scan is now saying the fourth son and one girl. And yet this boy who is coming yes, is better I than the to other three. Hey. Right. Yes, I wanted the girl, Papa. What was this one again? May it be for you. In the name of Jesus. Paruke Lenkra. Yes. So, I heard that this team here is the for emergence. Then when we lost power, I saw them standing there. I said, what kind of emergence is this? I, I asked them, this, what are you doing with Miracle TV? They say we are the emergent team. <laughs> and I'm like, what kind of emergence are you guys? What do you do within this emergent system? Please. Oh, the, your other guys went there. Wow. Shulim nang krumpai. I can see angels in my view. Angels of the Lord for me When I'm weak, my father sends angels When I don't have money, my father sends angels Angels of the Lord are my servants, yeah Let me sing 
Let me say, who is responsible for changing and moving things around? Raise your hand. There. And that made you think. Who? Are you appointing someone else? What is the team that is involved there? If you are part of the team, it's not one person there. I can. Let me see the team. Don't be afraid. Raise your hand if you are part of that team. Now, I didn't bring a belt. <laughs> but uh, some people are willing to give it. I know you are changing in a very, very stupid way. But trust me, this is the best we have had so far. Trust me. It is actually better than what we I'm not talking about what we have been having in Zimbabwe. No, even in UK. This is the best team so far. What do we do? What's happening? There it is. If you are here, and you are under the influence of my voice, no more delays. When I'm with my father since Listen, God will speak to you. God will speak to you specifically. Yes. God will speak to you urgently. Yes. Instantly. Yes. Without delays. Yes. No dark speeches. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. When I wake my father sends angels. When I don't have money, my father sends angels. To the Lord are my servants here. My father sent angels to the house of Jacob. My father sent angels to the house of Abraham. In my prison times, angels everywhere. I see them every day, everywhere I go on. Jesus. Where is the man? He went to work. He went to work, okay. All right. All right. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Munenge mune munochika we me. You. What? This is the third one. Oh, oh the yeah, third one. Okay. Is she, going, is she going to waste the letters? Listen. The question is simple. It's not the question I gave you. The question is another question. He's not getting it. Tell you what I'm trying to say. Everywhere I Relax. Maraguste. Yes, it's a girl. So listen, relax, okay? Well, you just relax. You are here already. Yes. When I passed by there and listened, go said now. This one is exactly what one that what that one wants. So I knew this was it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Papa. Uh, you received that thing, right? Relax. Do these people like football?
Do your boys like football? Yes, sir. The son. Uh, yes, my first born is in Mazarura. Ah, he likes football. Yes. Okay. And where is, where is the father? What does he do? Sorry. What does the father do? He's a Appreciate. soccer coach. He's a soccer coach. Yes. Okay. Yes. I decree and declare yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost yes. your movement will be recorded in the realm of the spirit. Yes. You are going to be popular in the realm of the spirit. Yes. I said you are going to be popular in the realm of the spirit. Yes. You are a celebrity already. We will see you. Raise every paper you have. Just raise it up high. Any paper, uh, any photograph, whether it's just a phone and all that. Where are you trying to go, Mama? Britain, come here. <laughs> Who are you with? I am with my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law. Where is the mother-in-law now? Oh, the one in white uh, t-shirt. You, you move with the mother-in-law. Hey! <laughs> my sister-in-law and my daughter. You are powerful. <laughs> this is a Christian. Amen. Very big Christian. Mother-in-law, sister-in-law. daughter. Where is the... The daughter is this one? Yeah. And the sister-in-law? The one in... Uh, that one. Orange bracelet. Hey! And the mother-in-law. Yes. You are learning... You shall be the curse breaker in your family. Thank you, prophet of God. Thank you, prophet of God. May your requests be honored in the name of Jesus. Thank you, prophet of God. May it be quicker than the enemy had tried to do over this oh, months. I decree and declare speed overtake everything in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, prophet of God. Thank Come here. I speak spirit. I don't speak it. I speak life, I speak life, I speak spirit, I don't I speak life, I speak spirit, I don't speak in, but I speak life. Raise it up, I. Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I decree and declare right now, you will move in higher dimensions. And everything you are raising right this minute, God is hearing it. God is answering it. By fire and by power. Receive your deliverance now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Here we go. Reason. When the spirit takes over my soul, when the spirit takes over my soul, oh, you will be changed. Yes, glory. When the 
just prophesied to she's confirmed me here that the husband was a national goalkeeper for the national team the under 17 to the under 23 and you prophesied which and national said, team which nation zimbabwe national team is Ephraim as okay well. that's what we need to hear we are preaching to the world millions are watching right now so which team was he playing for he played for dynamos he dynamos motor action just imagine mm -hmm. now you are talking like this you are here. May God bless you. <laughs> she said, I'm here, prophet. I'm also here. His <laughs> glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Say, when the Spirit of God when the takes over Yeah, when the Spirit of God the Spirit takes over, takes over your soul, oh, you will be changed. You, you will, will be changed. His glory will be revealed. When the Spirit of God takes when over.
So much, man of God. Thank you, Prophet. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Thank you so much. Listen, every desire you have, we decree and declare by the Spirit of the Lord that it is already meshed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. The miracle is yours. The miracle you've been waiting to be delivered. God said it has left the hands of God. I, ah, you can go if you want. Go. Oh, you receive it. I want you to raise your hands. I didn't think I was going to do this because all I wanted was for the power of God to reach you wherever you are. <laughs> you will be there sitting. What is happening here? There is activity where you are. <laughs> you know you can be standing there and wondering where is the activity? It is there. I said there is activity where you are. There is activity. There. Activity is everywhere. <laughs> Wherever you walk, there will be activity. Just right like, like yeah, yeah, there is activity. Yeah. Here there is activity right there. <laughs> Why do you think Jesus was crucified before the foundation of the world? If he was killed then, why does he need to be killed now? There. I'm sorry for my sister. He is wondering what's happening here. You'll be the only one who is not feeling the, the activity. And everyone around you will look like a fool. Until you realize, ah, there seems to be activity. I don't know. 
if Jesus was crucified before the foundation of the world, it simply means there is a block of time God cut a slice off and waited until 2,000 years just to put it again. So, after 4,000 years, God put a block and now we experience the death that already happened. That means the activity was there. There is an, an intersection between the earth and the realm of the spirit. That's why I keep telling you, an altar regulates the spiritual activity. And in this day and age, an altar is a person. I said an altar is a person. Personal who could take. Personal. What do you want God to do for you? God is watching you now. No under pressure. You're not under pressure. It's just 15 million, 14 million there. God, give me a baby. I want a baby. A baby. But do you have, you have a husband? Okay, come. Because you know these things happen normally, it's easier with the husband. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, we, this Mary issue, ah, it's very difficult. <laughs> Emergence team. <steam. laughs> ah, images. So where is the man? They're working. Yes, he went to work. So not even one. You don't have any child. No, I have one. So what is happening? I don't know. I said, where is the man? Yes, you went to work. Please explain to. <laughs> Honestly. You know, Blessing is watching, right? <laughs> if he's not watching by now, you'll get this video. And it will take a week to come out of this one. <laughs> yes, Dad. Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, come here. You're, please explain. Yes. Can you help us, man of God? Can you help us? You understand now, eh? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> the military <laughs> arrives late. <laughs> so there is war, there is war. The military ah, attack the soldiers. Where are the weapons? Ah. When you arrive, the, the army is has finished. Yes, you know, this is prophet. it. Ah, don't say nothing. She she has been struggling to make this a private one. She didn't come for IVP. She didn't think oh, if I come to IVP and talk to this man, the two of us. So please, it's okay. We have already fixed it. Thank you, Ambassador. Ah, Mama, I just touched the photo. What's happening now? <laughs> Activity is happening around the world. There is a system. And it's only up to you to get it. You feel it? You know, I've ever seen the doctor who starts saying cancer. Then cancer is moved from this one. Then it goes somewhere else. Then until they say, we don't know now. Hmm? Thank you, Father. And you are still alive. You seem to be very, very angry about this issue. Yeah. Let's have no peace. 
You're now at peace. Relax now. Relax. That's okay. But uh, we can move to the fifth. Uh, you are refusing. And I'm not refusing. See me again after. <laughs> you are pushing like this. <laughs> Prophet, this lady, Romeo said uh, they will be saying cancer and something, uh, different diseases. She's confirming that three months ago. Man of God, I did not say something. <laughs> said this letter, you, this lady, you said there will be cancer and something. <laughs> I did not produce the word. <laughs> yes, you say it's cancer, and she's confirming that she was diagnosed cancer three months ago. Mm. But now she's all right. They will say it, and then they get tired. And then they find another situation. As long as you know there is activity, if there is something I came to deliver tonight, it will be there is activity. You think your bed is on its own. There is activity. When you get in, in your house today, open and say, I'm home. Yeah. Announce it. Announce it. Yeah. Every principality that is not supposed to be here, get out. Check out. The lion is home. Roar. Those who are watching from around the world. This is Spirit Embassy. The Good News World. The Good News Nation. The Good News Church. We are a nation in the world. I'm just a servant of the Most High. Paul says the chiefest of all sinners. You think he was lowering himself. You knew what he was. There it is. There. There it's moving like that. Move. Who is in the speaker now? Hey! Come on, get on. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Who is this one? Is this the husband? I told you now. Husband will be like, what is happening to my wife? <laughs> you stand up. Stand up. You were preventing your wife from shaking. Come. You come. While you are there, money will come to you. This man here, money. Money will arrive. I receive. I receive. <laughs> the Holy Ghost will remove your dignity. He was holding the wife like this, like. Now prevent yourself. <laughs> this man will touch money. I said, this man here will touch money. Touch it here. Touch it here. Touch it here. Touch it here. here. Touch the money. Touch it. Touch it. This is all right. Damaloon said, the man for Lilis. Touch it. <laughs> this one. Paloma Christ the Bay. There it is there. Uh -uh. It's now time for the wife to hold also. Aripano Edenga. Let's go. And let's put the words up there. And around the world, let's tune with us. Tune in with us. Tune in. Aripano Edenga.
Overflow. I said there is an overflow. Around the world, there is an overflow. Let's extend our hands toward the overflow around the world, which is not an overflow. We call it our without walls spirit embassy. Spirit embassy without walls. Raise your hands towards any camera you can see. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we increase activity. We increase activity over everyone watching now. There are sensitivity to activity in the things of the spirit. That things will begin to change and shift. That they bring their activity to the realm of money. The realm of finances. The realm of increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare. Power will change hands. Power will change hands. Power will change hands. In the name of Jesus, Makaro, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Jabahaya, Likraktaya Zobre Hezekete, Rikantaya Zija Pahara Diata, Lero Soko Pranto no no so paradaya, Jagataya Dianzo Lanoso, Rehusha Tea Korade, 
parantaya zikla haya kai meno sarosa kia bahaya parusa kataya zija do marontele ketele zija kaya rababaya ko santele ne sumanto lira kaya zija peroko yako jala krenda kiata subahi jakaya rende ketele zija kaya diata parosela koya nentele kete rahusha te yako zede beheya randa kaya randa kaya dehezo brayo kaya ntaya nianza liri para kataya ziha zuhaya rente kea no so paratai lakusha te yako zebre parantaya lehi jakuja tere kere pere tianta mon prakosa te yakaya te la basiku bahaya niante parose ke la kuja di akara non zelente ke de a ri bahasa jaka de akora te kona sopra ka li kuja ki antenenso prahi kataya legete saka hi jaki antenenso parako de leke pere hera nianta li ku rapa ke la dakina kaya nsona de ke le deya parato ya ki ante suki rakatina kaya dosa in jesus my name we pray so relax the spirit of the lord is here and mama you take uh, uh the pastor's details you you going to take the details and you have already done so okay so it's all right then they will fix something all right thank you prophet it is by God. I'm here simply by the grace of God. There is nothing I can do of my own. And there is no day that goes by that I say to myself, I'm so big, I did this by myself. No. It's never going to be like that. There's never a time like that. This whole thing is about Jesus. We are just vessels. Born slaves. In the hands of the master. But we have also chosen not just to be born slaves, but his better ex. The Lord said, you are an entourage. Before the king comes, there are those who introduce and clear the way. And then tell the king what's happening. <laughs> I wish you could understand. It is not just my vision, it is also yours. You are God's entourage. No, shall I have a record? Prophet, we have a testimony here. Yes. When you went to your son's church, when you visited... Let, let him talk. Thank you, Dave, for everything. You are amazing, sir. You are amazing. We are so enjoying your grace. Thank Praise you. the Lord. So good. When you came to our ministry on the 30th of May, I had a son who was drinking for 19 years. 19? 19 years. I don't mean no more drinking. I mean the kind of drinking where at one time he drank so much and he slept in a room where there was a coffin. And he didn't know. He just woke up there the next day. He drank on his wedding day, on before the day before wedding, the day after wedding. He could not spend a week. The wife just sent me a, a message here because she gave the testimony to do her church. And he says for 19 years, he had not gone for a week without drinking or smoking. You just prayed for him. You just touched him and you gave him a bottle of water. And from the 30th of... Oh, I remember the person, I drank the water and gave him. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so from that day, he has never smoked or drank his whole life. From, from, from the 13th of May. Dead. This is 19 years of drinking. Now, now imagine what we're saying here. That I drink from the same and I give you. How many people have found me? Maybe I was drinking a bottle, uh, a bottle of water and put it there. And they just drink. All that managed to do is quench their thirst. Mm. But they have no idea. I introduced yes, sir. a certain level. Yes, sir. Another world yes, sir. into that water. Yes, sir. See, see, it is so simple to not recognize power when you meet it. Yes, sir. Because as I said, when masters are at work, when they are at their craft, it looks like it's so easy. Yes, sir. It's like, how did you do it? It's so easy. When the masters are at work, oh, it's like they just uh, did this and that, and then it happened. Whereas they left their craft, yes, sir. they started. They've been in there you will be popular. So 19 years. 19 years. 
And it's not like he, he wanted to drink. I asked him, why do you drink? And he said, I don't know. I don't know how. Remember what I said when you said it? This is actually answering what Prophet Arthur is saying. There is, I said, when you sin, when you, when you go in depth of it. Yeah. Let me explain to you. There is a big difference between good versus God. Amen. The things you call sin might not be sins. Listen, God says remove your beard. If you don't remove your beard, that's Old Testament. What happens? If you shave your beards, what happens? It says it's an abomination. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that's my beard. That's the style I like. It's good to remove your beard if it troubles you. But God in the Old Testament will call it an abomination. So it is not about good. It's about God. God is different from good. Not everything good is godly. Yes. Not everything godly is good. Yes. It is defined by the creator what good is. Amen. Not what your world has said good is. Yes. I remember saying one, if, if a man comes and I'm standing there, maybe a person I respect in the realm of the spirit, is standing there, let's say A.A. Allen, so that I don't get into a lot of discussions. That people have written in the God's general, he was drinking. And I'm supposed to be Zasha. And I stand there, and I see him there drinking. He's making noise, and someone says, what is happening there? I say, I think it's praise. <laughs> it's none of my business. To discuss what the general is doing. The Bible says, before his own master, he stands or he falls. Yes. That means he is not subject to your judgments. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What happened with Moses? He married a black sister. As we all know, once you go black, <laughs> you never go back. Yes. Moses married a black sister. What did they do? They said, Miriam, who was a prophetess, Miriam, what did he do? She complained. Why would you do that? The Bible says this. The, the scrolls were saying this and the scrolls were saying this. The Bible says, and the clouds are dust from his feet. That's number one. Then he says, and God came riding on clouds. He had no time to bath. <laughs> says, and he came down angry. His main issue was not to say, so what did you do, Moses? No. Moses had broken what God had said. But God didn't come to deal with it. He came to deal with the people who were talking again. And he said, were you not afraid to speak to my servant, Moses? A man I speak to face to face. Do you know what that means? I know you didn't listen. It means if it is good for me to speak to him face to face, why would you think he's wrong? When I'm still talking, that's why the man of God, Pastor Chris, says you can never destroy a man who is still being used by God in his own calling. He says, if you want to destroy a man, wait until you don't see the things he used to do. Then start fighting. You might be on the side of God. But as long as he's still prophesying if he was a prophet, you are in danger. As long as he's still healing if he was a healer, you are in danger. As long as he's still preaching when he was a preacher, you touch him. You finish. Never fight a man who is still being used in his calling. One day you realize I wasted my time. Some of these things don't need intelligence. If God is still okay using a man. Look at all these testimonies. I want to bring in a new wave. Yes, I've taught you. Fight for your miracle. Yes. Around the world, fight for your miracle. Yes. If you have never touched money, you have the grace now. If you are delaying in your healing, the grace is supplied. If you have never owned any property, the grace is with you now. 
If you have feared anything, I cancel that fear. The light will call this world. There is an activity. I know what you're thinking. Trust me when I tell you this. There is an activity in the realm of the spirit. It's an undeniable activity. You know you can walk into it. Men of God, how do I do it? I give you. See, there is a trick that if I want to interact with Pastor Chris Oyagilome, if I want to interact with him, I can, I can look at his schedule just to say, okay, well, how many books does he have? And then immediately I begin to interact with him. The moment I get to interact with his light, and his light is only exposed by what he knows. Now I begin to interact in his light. Rise what? Rise and what? No, that's not what the scripture says. Rise, shine. There's no end. And signifies we are taking time. Rise, shine. For your light has come. And the kings will come to your, to your rising, not to your sitting. But, but to your rising. The kings only come to your rising. They don't come to your sitting or come to your sleeping. They come to your rising. I speak kings are coming to your rising. I call a rise. I call a rise. Varavuze veregira na mongresta. Zera mangrote la nengre de zina mandos. Let's extend our hands to those around the world as we close the broadcast. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, until we see each other again on this broadcast, we decree and declare, even in the physical, we decree and declare they are protected. They are guarded, heavily guarded. Heavily protected. God protected. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you the grace to continue this week in peace. No accidents. No toiling. No poverty. I decree and declare. You are protected in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.